talent. Hang on. I'm good. I'm good. I'm ready. Okay. Fire me up. Okay, go. Am I on? No. Okay. Give me a countdown. Still with them on. Go. Whoa, brother. Uh, all right. <laughs> Sorry about that, folks. This is, uh, <laughs> listen, folks. <clears throat> this is live action at the Freedom 500. Ladies and gentlemen, we are at the Freedom Factory. <sighs> Liz, are we on? Is this good? Uh-huh. Okay. Guys, I'm just, I just, I'm speechless at the moment. So, listen, here's the deal, folks. Right now, what you're about to see is, uh, is a small blip in history being made because, uh, you know, we're about to have the first race at the Freedom Factory, and I didn't think it was going to be this fast. I'm going to be honest with you. I thought, I thought we'd be months down the road trying to make some something like this work, but, you know, with this team and these people, we came together and the Freedom Factory is race ready as of today. We have flags in the stand. We have the lights working. We have the timing system online. We have the cars. We have the drivers. The Freedom 500 is happening today live while you guys stay at home. We're hanging out social distancing in a multi-zone platform here at the Freedom Factory to keep all of our guys safe. So let me tell you what. I'm going to tell you something right here. This is important. This is a live broadcast. We are YouTubers, we are not live broadcasters. I have no idea what may or may happen, may or may not happen today, but I can tell you one thing. I'm gonna get in that car, I'm gonna go as fast as I can, and I'm gonna turn left and see what happens. So hang with us through technical issues, through race issues. We've never had a race, never done a live broadcast, so it's really just, we're throwing it all together to try and make it happen to you. And you for you guys and and you're here for the first time so that's all i gotta say about that the other thing we gotta get into is i want to give a shout out to our sponsor for today's race that is titan fuel tanks go longer and further with titan fuel tanks they make you know like my truck my ram 3500 they make a 50 gallon fuel cell for that they make fuel cells for race cars titan fuel tanks thank you for sponsoring the freedom 500 today guys what you see behind me on this beautiful landscape is uh 20 crown victorias these are police interceptor crown victorias most of you guys already know the deal because you watch the channel all they have done to them they are just retired police cars all they have done to them is nitrous <laughs> and a roll cage because that's just how we do it around here we, we knew they needed nitrous we knew they needed some safety equipment and we also got window nets so the races should be as safe as possible today we've got harnesses in the car but you know what guys it's the freedom 500 we are going to let her rip tater chip so uh right now before we get started on anything is i'm going to introduce my buddy spencer spence give me one sec and then we are going to go down and do the car lottery because the only way to make the freedom 500 fair with all of these cars that we purchase is to do a random lottery where each driver is matched up with a car at complete random because we don't want anyone to have an advantage or a disadvantage it's got to be purely based on luck and let me tell you what you can get really lucky or you can get kind of unlucky because some of these cars have well i think the lowest one's 70,000 miles the highest one having 190,000 miles so we've got uh, all the way from a 2006 crown vic up to a 2012 crown vic so quite a mix up there but the cars all run good. We have vetted them to the best of our abilities. We did multiple laps in each car just to make sure they were 100% good, but brothers, it's time to race. So what we're gonna do is, let me introduce Spicy Spence here. We do have to keep a ample distance between us, so I'll swing him the mic. Great pass off, Cletus. Thank you for having me. I'm very yes, excited sir. to get part of this today. We are um, absolutely gonna rip. Yeah, we are, tater chip. Shh. Thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in. I want to tell you guys a little bit about this track. This was formerly known as DeSoto Speed Bay, but is now the Freedom Factory. What you're looking at is a 3 8 mile track that Cletus and the team, Cooper and James, been working tirelessly. 15, 16 hour days have come together on this place. I've watched this place turn to, from a dirt field into what you're looking at now. We have some of the best sod been supplied by another fellow YouTuber. We have some of the best concrete work that's been done here. We're looking at a burnout pad that's state of the art, potentially one of the largest in the whole country. So you guys are gonna be 
just thrilled with what we have today because there's going to be a lot of excitement. We're going to be banging doors. We're going to keep everybody safe though. We want to give a very big shout out to all of our first responders both here at the facility as well as in hospitals around the country and internationally. A lot of people are going through a lot of things right now but we're going to make sure we keep our safety as top top priority and we want you guys at home to do the same thing. Take care of responsible social distancing at this time. Everybody this is going to be one heck of an event. We got a lot of stuff to move forward with we got to have the car draw we're gonna get the drivers in each of their cars here in just a moment um, but let's go ahead and get started I want to make sure that we can pass it back off to Cletus bring here bring back. we're gonna get her back over to you now you ready Careful. Oh, whoa. thank you okay Spence we good are we on all right so big thanks to Spence he's gonna be our uh, primary announcer tonight we do have another announcer Nick Savage as well as Garza so and I think we're planning on multiple outfit changes for these guys yeah. <laughs> so, listen guys, I, I know this looks like the redneck version of the Daytona 500, and brother, that's exactly what we are going for. So, I want you to take your standards today and bring them down to here, because y'all are used to these insane broadcasts today. What we're doing is the best we can. So, let's go over onto our table here, and I'm going to show you a little bit of how this car lottery is going to work. Let me pick up this cord, because brother, we don't got a wireless mic. That's just what it is, you know what I'm saying? Also. Our boy neighbor was supposed to be the pace car, but was running a little weird. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna keep it as my backup race car. And we are using Trickle, our uh, modified Camaro brought by Justin, one of our racers today. And that'll be our pace car for the day. So come on over to this table where you can see we have a thing of hand sanitizer. That's important. And then we have a deck of playing cards. So let me explain how this is gonna work, folks. Basically, what we've got planned is over the entrance back there, you can see that. A uh, couple of the guys are staged, and then we have a couple of guys staged on the other corner of the park, and then on the other corner of the park, because we had to, we didn't want any large gatherings. So, what's going to happen? We're going to see a couple of drivers slowly trot over the, the top there. They're going to walk over this table, being socially distanced, and we're going to bring one driver up at a time. They will snatch one of these cards off the table. The card is a suited card from ace to nine. I think nine is the highest one. If you get a red ace, that means your pole position. Say you get uh, number four in uh, whatever the uh, whatever the other suit is, the club suit. So if you get a club suit, that means your fourth row back outside lane. So we're doing the clubs or outside lane. We're doing we're doing the red ones are inside lane. So uh, it's going to be a grid of pairs. If that makes sense so you'll have two cars leading two cars after that two cars after that two cars after that you know I don't listen folks I don't know how to explain it with the right terms here we are but they'll come up they'll grab their card not only does it tell them their starting position the card has a number on it written in Sharpie say they get car number one boom car number one over there and they're in numerical order as you see around the track they're approximately 30 feet apart so that we can Make sure our drivers are socially distanced while they have an hour to decorate the cars, put whatever livery they please on them. And that's with spray paint. A lot of them brought stickers. I think Adam LZ brought a full wrap because he's a ricer. And uh, that's just the facts, folks. And there's also, I think one guy has a body kit, one guy has a shark fin, one guy. I mean, we got a lot of, a lot of cool stuff. So the next hour or so of the broadcast is going to be the guys getting their cars and also preparing them to race tonight. And at, at some point, I'm gonna have to leave the table, hand it over to my boy Spence, while I go prepare my car, and then once the race gets started, man, I mean, you're gonna see the guys are gonna be up in the announcer's booth, we're gonna have the pace car out. We need to stay off the radio. We obviously got the national anthem coming, and uh, then it's, gentlemen, start your engines, and we'll go from there. Hey, Alan, are you ready to bring in some drivers, brother? All right, brother, send me the first group. Make sure they are uh, spaced out. They'll be coming from over here. Liz, they're going to walk in from over yonder. There we go. What do we got? The entrance there. Look at that. Look at that distance. So, honestly, if I tried to recite all the drivers right now, I wouldn't be able to do it. So the good news is they're all on their way and we'll, we'll get to talk to each one of them individually. All right, come on down, brother. Send me if one. Got some, a camera getting these people coming in. Okay, who do we got here? Is that Victor? 
Okay. Bear with, but as we prepare for live action, really? you know, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. We didn't really plan this much this stuff out. Camera. I was more interested in making the cars camera. work and be ready than planning a schedule because who who needs a schedule during the Freedom 500? Go on, dang brother. Why guys, don't you have camera? Space out because we're bringing one of you at a time. Don't you have camera one and two. Okay. Let's see what we got here. All right, folks. Up first, we have Victor from Bradenton Motorsports Park. Come on, Vic. You got to pick up the pace. All right, I'll talk about the cars while he's on his way over. Guys, Crown Vic's equipped with nitrous up. They all have a transponder on them, so it'll tell you your lap times. Also tell you positioning on the track for each driver. That's going to be live on screen. Yes, we are that technologically, technologically advanced. Okay, you heard it here first. Uh, the other thing, they have a little transpon they have a little one-way radio, so our race control is gonna be able to talk to them. I mean, this is legit. This is legit. Chris, Victor, how are you doing, you? brother? Ready, ready to go. Okay, so grab yourself a squirt. Yeah, rub it on your face and stuff. Come on. Yeah, I want people right. to be able. Pick a card, to Vic. Let's see what you got. Come in and get him walking in. What do you got? What do you got? Ooh. Careful, careful. Oh, don't be revealing them. Oh man, is it ripping? No. Well, we didn't think that one through, folks. Sorry about that. Let's see what you got. Nine of clubs. Tough break. You are literally the last position on the racetrack for the starting grid. <laughs> and then you got car number four. The nope, you take the card. So you're going to car number four, Victor. Damn. Well, guys, the worst position you can start with has been taken. So people are not important. I mean, people that is, are important walking in. That is not solid news. Okay, here we go. We got Justin, aka Stankiller. If you guys don't know Justin, he's the owner of Street Car Takeover. Justin, grab your card. Be careful pulling it up because it it will rip, as we just found out. Mm. Mm. We're gonna get there. Oh, oh. Was that three clubs? Yeah. Okay, dude. That means you're third row back. Your your clubs. So you're on the outside. What car number did you get? Forty six. No, no. That's on the, your card. On, oh, your, on your card. On your plan. Uh, seven. Okay, so go to car number seven, brother. All right. Ooh, Ready. star of the show, James. Let her rip tall. Pulling up, aka Jack Stan Jimmy. That's his name. Okay. Uh, James, how do you feel today? I am. I'm ready for this. It's been a long four days, and it's all paid off for this, right? I want you guys to know, I want you all to know that James filled 25 nitrous bottles this morning, okay? For this show, because this guy is a trooper. Ooh, 25. What'd you get there? That's 250 pounds of nitrous. Let me, let me see your six of diamonds. Okay, so James, you are the sixth pair back, inside. and you are inside. And car you're, number 10. Car number 10. Ooh, dude, you got a nice car there. I think you're just to the right of the Freedom Factory logo. All right. There you go. Oh, you got a green one. A Lucha County PD car right there. Guys, just so you know, I personally purchased all of these cars from the state auction. I took a lot of mean looks because we went to the state auction and bid on every Crown Vic they had. Uh, and just know that I did that for you, folks. People were pissed. All right, we got, got Brent from PFI in. coming in. in now. Make sure you guys keep ample space. Come on, Brent, do a trick. Can we get Brent to do a trick? Do a trick, Brent. Brent, barrel roll. Oh. <laughs> All right, Brent from PFI Speed is walking up. If you guys don't know who Brent is, he uh, is one of the owners of PFI Speed. PFI Speed YouTube channel. He's also my uh, co-driver on Rocky Mountain Race Week. He's one of my favorite people in the world, and I absolutely love him. Uh, not much information about him, but it's more about how much I like him. He's a great guy. Ooh. Hello, Brent. Welcome, Hello. brother. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. Are you, are, you awesome? are you feeling fired oh. up? Can we get a zoom in on his face? <laughs> all right yeah all right brent go ahead and grab yourself a playing card brother let's see what you got be careful because spencer has potentially rip his hand what you got what you got show it to us Ooh, a three of diamonds three of diamonds three of diamonds in your car number one so you're over here all so right three of diamonds that means you're third pair back inside all right brother <laughs> see ya right on we'll see you out there 
I'll see you out there. Hey, watch yourself, boy. <laughs> watch yourself. Okay, we're bringing up Jamie also from PFI Speed. This is uh, Brent's partner in crime. These guys do everything together. Jamie, go ahead and grab a card off there. Let's see what one. you got. It's a good one. Come on. Dude, honestly, I don't know. Pull out from the table. Yeah, Please just... come on up so maybe you can get the close-up of the card. Oh, wow. so, so four of clubs, that, that means you're a uh, fourth pair back outside. Okay. Right on. So, Part what nine. car number? Nine. Uh, you're just one to the left can, of James. Vince, can you follow the people coming in? Okay. Right. Folks, here we go. We have our beloved, <laughs> beloved tuner, Jeremy from Faster Problems. What's Jeremy, up, how are you feeling today, brother? You got to scream. I'm pretty fired up, man. You got to be louder. I am fired up, dude. Let's just, do this. Just man. a smidge louder. Scream it. Fired up! Woo! All right, bro. That's, what, that's the energy I'm talking about. So, uh, Jeremy is a threat today i mean this guy's a very skilled driver i've driven i've go-karted with him more than anybody here this guy is good okay he's good we've dreamed about adult go-karting here we are today so, folks we're doing it ben, so uh jeremy go ahead and grab yourself a card let's see what you got here folks oh 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 golly Ooh, what'd you get eight of clubs eight of clubs that's back in the pack back. brother back <laughs> in the pack so you're you're outside eighth pair back number six car number six all right. See you later, brother. Guys, man, it's looking better. The longer I wait to pick my card, I'm in good shape. I, I I don't have a live chat, but how's the live feed going? Does anybody know? Is it good? Everybody heard some good things? Okay. Does that mean keep going? Okay. All right, uh, let's see. Hey guys, make sure you stay safely distanced. Let's bring Taylor up first. Are we good, Liz? Are we on? All right, thanks, Liz. Guys, Liz, our camera lady, is awesome, and she's she's kind of just telling me what to do. So, shout out to Liz. All right, come on, Taylor. This is Taylor Ray, guys. If you haven't seen his YouTube channel, he is a drifter, drift boy, as we like to call him around here. He drives a Miata which you know normally we wouldn't let him race because of that but it's got an ls in it so we're letting him race okay yeah. so he's a very skilled driver honestly he's probably the best go-karter out of all of us so go ahead and grab it let's see what you got okay okay <laughs> no okay so you're you're outside what well, you're outside first row Number 17. yep yep that's not pull what's that called when you're one less in pole position We'll go. We're going with the front row, folks. <laughs> car number 17. Damn, he got a good car, too. He got a great car. Son of a biscuit. Okay. Adam LZ, folks. We're bringing up Adam LZ. This is also a drift boy, fellow drift boy of Taylor. Adam, how do you feel today? You have to scream as loud as you can. Oh, I'm excited. Yeah, are you excited? Are you going to – how many Crown Vic hours do you have? Less than an hour. Yeah, probably just neighbor, huh? Yeah. I've been telling you to buy one. Maybe. So Adam has uh, a lot of subscribers, very well known on YouTube, very skilled driver. This guy can drift anything. It's honestly terrible riding with him. It's very scary. Not a huge fan of uh, sliding near walls as fast as this guy will. So today, Adam's going racing with us. Adam, grab a card off the table. Let's see your position and car number. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Oh, he's red seven. So your seventh pair inside lane. Okay, your car number fifteen. So you're right over there. I'm good. All right. Hey, is it true that you brought a body kit for your race car? I brought a spoiler. Okay, he brought a spoiler for his race car. You gotta have downforce out here. Uh, not sure if it's cheating, but we're gonna let it. We're gonna let it slide. See you, Adam. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Cooper Spaghetti, folks. This is the Spaghetti Cooper been a hard busy week for you brother <laughs> yeah dude brother hey wipe them things down we need them clean i know you just ate spaghetti with no spoon or fork just bare hand <laughs> coop did a spaghetti feed by himself last night okay let's see what you got brother mm. oh the eight of diamonds car number 12 so you are eighth pair back car number 12 you're about over here i believe all right so, Coop, hey, safe out there, brother? We'll see. I'll see you out there. Golly, folks, we have a great, 
Great couple of drivers so far. Let's see who we got next. Oh, Emilio. Emilio, can we do we got a zoom in yet? Are we are we zoomed in on Emilio? Emilio, can we get a jump kick? Uh. <laughs> Dang, brother. Can we get one more? We didn't have the camera going. Yeah, one more. We didn't have the camera on. Damn. What's that? What's that? Did we miss that again? Hold on, we missed it. We need it one more time. There's one more, dude. It's for the it's for the live feed. One more. <laughs> we got it every time. We just want we just wanted to see it again, brother. Yeah. Uh Liz, just for reference, this is Chris. Heard there might be some confusion with that. Alright, so All right. That's Alan. Chris. Okay, good. Alright. Oh, am I on you now? Oh, okay. Hey, thank you, Chris. Uh, yeah, so you got to squirt, you got to squirt, wash your face, and then, yes, in the eyes, okay, and then grab a card. Nicely done, Emilio, with the pick of the night. Emilio, uh, can you tell us what car number you have? Uh, 11. Car number 11. So you're just right back here next it's, to... It's the uh, Sharpie number, right? Yep, yep, that's car number 11. Dang, man, you got it. You're over here, right next to the Freedom Factory logo. You got a good car, brother. Yeah, yeah. I think it says it on the car. Oh. It says it right on the door. All right, man. Good hey. Well, Lucky guy. Hey, look, you have a huge advantage over everyone, so you should win. If you don't, it's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> okay, all right, Kyle, can we get a kick flip? Kick just a quick kick flip. There we go. <laughs> all right, we got our boy Kyle from Boosted Boys. This guy has uh created one heck of a YouTube channel. I've actually lost to him while he was racing a minivan while I was in my full blown race car Corvette. Kind of embarrassing, not gonna lie, but we're still friends. So we got Kyle out here. Kyle, go ahead and pick a card. Hmm. Let's see what you got there, pal. Four. Four of diamonds. So that means you're the fourth pair back inside lane. Okay? And then you got car number two, so you're right over there. All right, brother? Awesome. We'll see you out there. Hell yeah, brother. Guys, I hope you're all enjoying this from home. We, uh, you know, I was nervous. I was nervous, honestly. One side, George. I'm, I'm having a heart to heart. I was nervous. But now, now that we're in the zone, I'm feeling a lot better. I'm feeling ready to race. Okay. All right, George, come on up. Sorry about that. Ladies and gentlemen, this is L.S. George. He is single and ready to mingle. Follow him on Instagram, L.S. underscore George. Uh, big L.S. guy, loves L.S. stuff. That's why he goes by L.S. George. And uh, he drove a turbo truck here. Dang right, brother. Grab yourself a card. Let's see what position you are in. Mm. That. It's black six. Black six. Okay, you are the sixth pair back on the outside. You got that? Yep. Sixth pair back on the outside. Card number 18. That's over here on the bank. Second to last. Second to last. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we got another group here. We got Blake Wilkie. Coming up, Blake. Do something cool, brother. Here he comes. How's everything looking, fam? Good, Liz. You feel like everything's going well? Sweet. Spence, pull up the live feed. Let's see us get a look at it. Brother. We're good, brother. Good to see you. Wish I could high five you, but I can't. Ready? Let's time it right. Mm. Okay, guys, Blake Wilkie on the scene. Professional off-road driver. This guy, dude, are you aware this is an on-road race? Yeah, there's traction here. I'm used to no traction, so it should be a breeze. Oh, <laughs> really? So yeah. this guy, Blake, man, I met him, went for a ride with him. It was honestly awesome. We did wheelies in the sand dunes. Everyone was 
treating us like kings because I was with him. This guy's amazing, incredible guy, Blake Wilkie. Check him out on Instagram. He's got a YouTube channel. Shreddy Life is his brand. I mean, dude, all around great guy. So he's racing with us today. Let's let's get a card here, brother. Oh, jeez, brother. Five. Ooh, five of diamonds. So you're the fifth row back okay. inside. Okay, like fifth row back inside. You've got car number eight somewhere over there. I like it. Now you're like, yeah, just count to eight. eight. Yeah, count to car number eight. One, two, One, two three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, you're right there to the left of the entrance. Okay, folks. Uh, here we have Justin Hildebrand, owner of JH Diesel 4x4. And uh, he's a local here to Bradenton. He's actually my neighbor. Very nice fella. Uh, he does ruin the neighborhood. I'll say that. Uh, big mud truck guy. This guy's an off-road fanatic. He's, uh, he's got side-by-sides. We ride side-by-sides together pretty much every week. If it's not at night after work or on the weekends at one of our trail spots, we ride we ride, every, we ride or die. Every day. That's the okay. thing. So uh, Justin, a.k.a. J.H., is out here. He's racing, and... Justin, go ahead and choose a card. Let's see what you got and where you're at. Okay. Ten of diamonds. Ten of diamonds. Okay, I think you're back row, dude. Good for me. <laughs> Actually, you just got the worst position on track. <laughs> I thought it was Jeremy. I didn't. Yeah, there is a ten in there. I have a tactic. I know what I'm doing. Okay. So I got it in my head. Well, good luck with that. And then, yeah. Okay. All right. So, he's ten of diamonds. That's a tough break for Justin. He's going to be in the back of the pack to start things off. We'll see if he can come around. Come on, Chatty. All right, guys. Up next, we have Chad Miller. Okay, brother. This guy, listen, I know uh, I know his wife is at home watching, so this is a good chance to shout out Tess. Uh, they're probably, who are they hanging out with? Obviously, Maddie's there. Uh, yeah, Amber, Colton, Josh, Tiff, uh, my mom, my sister. Okay, I just want to shout everybody out real quick. So, Chad, not really uh, been a race car driver. Nah, nah. Definitely not a race car driver, but he's here to participate because he's one of our good friends, and that's what this is all about. It's not about hardcore racing. Just kidding, it totally is. Yeah. Uh, go ahead and pick a card. Which one's a good one? I don't know. I don't know which ones are good ones. <laughs> I thought that was good, but... Dude, what are you doing, dude? You're ruining... Oh, you still got it. You still got the, you got the equally as good card. You got lucky. Okay, so you got a, a two of clubs. That means you're going to be the second row back on the outside. Your car number three. You're honestly in one of the most dangerous positions on track. So good for you. Starting in the front of the pack can be can equal two things: a lot of havoc, or uh, you break away from the pack. So you better drive hard. Yeah. You're over here. All right. So these are our last three drivers for the lottery we're bringing up. Hey, Alan. Could you get Alec to turn on the lights for the track? What are we on now? Okay. Okay. All right, guys, we're getting the lights turned on. Man, the sun goes down quick. Florida. Okay, here we go. We have Lick. I'm sorry, not Lick. <laughs> we have Nick, but his last name starts with an L. Nick Leonard. And, Nick, you are a side-by-side -side boy. Big side by side guy. He uh, is a part owner of sidebysideblog.com. That's S X S blog.com. And they sell parts for side by sides. They film videos for side by sides on YouTube. You guys have seen them on my channel because we do a lot of riding with them. So, Nick, time, hold on, hold on. Before you grab these. Okay. Oh. I was looking just, at this one anyway. Okay, you're looking at that one. Just yeah. be careful. Hold the tape around it because we're, yeah, we're starting to lose cards. What'd you get? Car number 14. Five of, of clubs. Okay, so you're going to be fifth row back outside. All right. Outside, all right? 14, where am I going, brother? You're going this way, okay? Right. Come on up. We have Douglas. This guy's last name is Butterfield, not to be confused with Margarine Field, okay? Don't want that getting confused. Doug, how do you feel? I feel good, man. I'm ready to do this. Yeah, all right. So, boys, Doug is also a side-by-side -side blog guy. He's their mechanic. He's like the James of the side-by-side -side blog channel. So, uh Butterfield, be very careful grabbing your card because the tape is about is hanging on by a thread. Mm, what'd you get? Nine of diamonds. Nine of diamonds. Okay, your ninth, ninth row back inside. I'll take that. Okay. All right, brother. Thanks, man. Thank you, sir. 
All right, last but not least, before myself will be uh, Nick. He is a side-by-side -side blog. He's the last guy on their crew. He is, uh, you know, we barely let him in because I've seen him drive before. He's kind of a softy. What are you saying? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Nick is a, Nick. Hello. Hello, how you doing? Good to see you. Looking good, dude. I'm Brother, looking you're good. looking good. Okay, hold on. So listen, Nick is a side-by-side -side blog guy. He's actually a pretty good driver. I've seen him. He's pretty skilled in the dunes, but we're on track. In the dunes, I have no grip. Oh, here I have all the grip. Okay, so uh, which one are you going to pick, Nick? This is uh, The last one is you? Last one's me. Right or left? No. Alrighty, dude. Seven spades. Seven, clubs. seven of clubs. Okay, brother, you're seventh row back. Okay. Outside. Outside. What car number? Right. What car number? Right. Car number five. Back here somewhere. Yeah, over there. Oh my gosh, look at the paint jobs in the background. We already got paints. Okay, guys, let me pick my card here. Hold on. <clears throat> Set this down. And squirt. Spence, you know what? Just go ahead and grab that. You know what? Get a squirt before you grab it. My hands are on it. Good thinking. Good thinking. Disinfect the mic. All right. We have the last card. If you've been keeping track, then you probably already know, but too much has been going on here in live action. Let's get a close up on this. Can we get a at home drum roll, please? All right. Three, two, one, live action. What did you get? The two of diamonds. That's the two great. of diamonds. That is a, That's a great number card. 19. Wow. You're starting in the front of the field. We have it going down the Freedom 500, not the hand sanitizer. Don't break it. We have to save that. We're good. Sorry about that, dude. Got a little excited there, Cletus. I am second row back. Card number 19, which is over there. Really happy with my card. Really happy with my card. Nick Seuss almost took this, and he would have had a way better car in position. But here we are. So, uh, Spence, I'm going to hand it over to you. Guys, Spencer is going to take you on a tour, and he's going to go socially distanced and safely have a discussion with each of our drivers and talk to them about what they're doing to their cars. Will do. Thank you, Cletus. We're excited to come stop at you. We have saved the best for last, you being in car number 19. You Woo! better see us there soon. All right, guys, let's go ahead and start doing a little lap around this 3 8 oval, and we're going to see what everybody's doing to their cars. So let's go ahead and get a pan around. As you guys can see, we have everybody spaced out in such a safe manner. Everybody's working on their vehicles by themselves. And so we want to thank you guys for your patience with us as we work through the kinks. Uh, we're doing as best as we can. This is our first time, so we have a lot of firsts going on. One of the things you should know about this being the first is that none of us are scared to give it something a shot. So thank you guys. We're going to keep powering through this every step of the way. Now, from a distance, I'm seeing a lot of units get a lot of, I mean, we're seeing some serious makeovers over here. Remember, guys, we have 19 Crown Vicks on the field, so it's going to be very cool to see how creative some of these guys get. Uh, all of them are just entrepreneurs, business owners, hustlers, car drivers, and they're really getting after it. I think who we got coming up here is number 77. I can't recall who's in each vehicle, but we're going to find out here shortly. Let's take a look. So this one right here, we got a little bit of a green front end on this police cruiser. This used to be a local police vehicle, as all of these are retired police vehicles. You heard Cletus say, a lot of these are very high mileage. Not a lot of care and love has been going on. Over the last few days, all we've been doing is getting that nitrous kit, getting the safety harnesses, the roll cages, as well as those nets in installed. We want to keep every single one of our guys safe. All right, as we're approaching this first vehicle, who do we have? Somebody's in the trunk. What do you think he's doing? Let's find out who's in the trunk of this car. Okay, I see a sticker here. It says Clutch Masters. All right, he's hiding from us, guys. We got a sneaky driver on our hands. Hey, come on out. Let's go ahead and introduce our very first. We have Brent from PFI Speed. How's it going, buddy? What do you tell us? Tell us a little bit about what you got going on to your car. Oh well, I've I'm, I've got a little paint job in the middle there. I see. Uh, I just see a blotch of red. That's all we got. <laughs> Favorite color? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, but, good. But I'll have a PFI speed sticker there. I got my import face off, guys, on the back, and Clutch awesome. Masters. Very They're supporting well. me big out here, so. So what do you think of your car overall at this point? Have you done an inspection, started it up even? Nope. Have you checked the fuel? Nope. Tire pressure? It's great. Love it. Next driver. <laughs> Brent, we're going to see you out there. Best yeah. of luck, man. Stay safe, okay? Right, yeah, Get to absolutely. work, dude. Check that tire pressure, man. Important. 
Great, great. And who do we have here? I believe this is Kyle from Boosted Boys, all the way down from Colorado. How's this warm weather treating you? Do you got your baby powder and everything on you? This is awesome. You're good to go? All right, let's get in here. Let's kind of come check a look. He's number 44. Uh, what else you got going on to your car? It looks like you haven't done much at all. Nothing much. I just got here, you know, we're getting our stickers put on there. I'm going to give her a little rattle cam paint job. And that's about it. I mean, we haven't built them out, nothing. Nothing. Just, you haven't even started up. I haven't seen one of these guys started up yet. I thought, Thank check you. the oil. Nope. Radiator no. leaks. You don't even know. I'm just going to trust that they did a good job prepping us for this race. And I'm Do you know who worked on these? Uh, I think James did a lot of work. And it was me, and I don't know much about cars. <laughs> Spicy Spence working on the cars. So you're in the hands of... These things have been through a lot, and they made it this long. So who are you most nervous about today? Who is your biggest competitor out here? I mean, Clea said he was going to put me in the wall, so that's kind of, you know, scary. But also, I know Adam's a really good driver as well. As far as winning, I could see him taking this very seriously. And I don't know, honestly, a lot, everyone here knows cars, so it's... How about Emilio? Concerned at all? Not too much about Emilio, you know, I think he's gonna be focused on himself as well I think you know me Emilio Brent and Jamie. We're you gonna know try, Emilio we're gonna try to Stay together and not take each other out. That's the plan. So I'm not worried about him We're rooting for each other, you know, because awesome. we all came from Colorado. Yeah, rooting teammates. for ourselves Yeah, we're against like all of Florida right now well, good. We're happy to have you and we're glad you made it just so you know Emilio's actually got the pole position So you might be taking home a good chance of her victory with yeah. Colorado So have a great race be safe and we'll see you out there. Okay? Awesome, guys, you just heard from Kyle from Boosted Boys. Um, we got a good little bit of information from him. Uh, as you can see, we have all their we have all their safety harness stuff here. He's got some cans of spray paint that we're looking at. Um, let's go ahead and move on down. Another driver that we can't see at the moment, but let's take it. Who is this? The one, the only, bad Chad Miller. Everybody, this is the man, the myth, the legend, one of my new best friends. I determined that if I were ever to be married, he's gonna be my best man, and we met about a year ago. So, Chad, tell us a little bit about what you got going on. Again, another vehicle with minimal modifications. Yeah, you know, I just got here. You know, we're, we're getting ready. I'm putting all the stickers on. You know, I've never really did this, so we're just gonna send it and just go with it. <laughs> just a full send. I gotta ask, a lot of people are, are texting me right now. Everybody wants to know one thing. What'd you have for dinner? Uh, Jimmy John's. Of course. Jimmy John's. Way to represent. Good sandwich. I hope Jimmy that's going to be nutritious for you. It's a hundred laps. I hope you're drinking your water. Do you I have a couple snacks? In couple place. snacks. Okay, good. I'm glad to hear. Because you plan on being out there for how long? Uh, you know, pretty long. <laughs> hundred <laughs> laps. Awesome. Is there one driver in particular that you're gunning for? Just someone you got to get after? Uh, yeah, it's Cooper. Cooper. Cooper's done. Cooper's done. Is he cooked? Should I let him know? Yeah, just let him know. Give okay. him a heads up so he can stay back in the pack. All right. Well, rock and roll, Bad Chad. You're on my top three list, so um, I'm excited to have you out here, man. Are you driving in the moccasins? No, I'm not. I got my race boots, full gear, you know. Full gear, full safety gear. Race, race quip. Awesome. Race quip definitely decked you guys out, but um, let's go ahead and take a look. He's going to be, Bad Chad's going to be number four. Number four. Number four. Okay, guys. Well, thank you, Chad. We're going to see you here in a little bit, okay? Be safe, brother. Wow, guys. Let's take a little bit of a 10-second break here. You've seen three cars. These guys haven't had as much time as the back part of the field as we get to cars 20 or cars 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Um, let's go ahead and see what our next vehicle is. I believe this is going to be a crowd favorite. I think a lot of you guys know him by now. Um, who do we have here? It is going to be Victor from right next door. What's going on, man? We got Victor in the number eight Crown Victoria from Bradenton Motorsports Park. What does that say? FL2K? All right. Represent an upcoming event. How's it going, Victor? Tell us about your car. Good. Uh, I think I got a good one. It looks like it was like a detective car or something. Some relatively low miles. My, nit okay. my nitrous is ready to go. I don't have any nitrous leaks or anything like that. We got stickered up. Good Did tires. I'm ready to go. That's awesome. Did you guys hear that? This is the first first driver we've stopped at that actually has done a walk around of his vehicle. He's the first one to give us an update of the status, the miles. He's inspected it, checked his nitrous. I think we have a serious contender on our hands here oh, for... Just, me and my team have been strategizing. Really? Yeah, my, guy, yeah, my guy's back at the shop. Uh, the shop south, that is. Got it. We've been strategizing all day. We're ready to go. That's awesome. We're, we're the position we wanted to start in, I mean, we're ready. And what position are you? Dead last. Dead last, so it's just going to be a, a Rudy story, I guess, here, right? Yeah. Rudy, Rudy. Pretty much. We're going to let these guys wear themselves out. We're going to save our nitrous to the end. 
We're gonna drive around them just like a drag race. Perfect, I'm happy to hear that. Now, is there any one person in particular that you are concerned about or you're not even at all worried about? I'm, I'm really not worried. This is, uh, this is anybody's race to win. But uh, I don't get I don't get worried. I'm just... Wow, guys, you heard that. That's one of the most honest answers we could have. A humble man himself, but I think he's going to be up there at the front of the pack before we know it. Thank you, Victor. We're happy to see you got induction performance logos. You're going to be number eight for the evening. And I got to say, man, your unit looks fresh. That thing is ready to bog. All right. Well, hell yeah, brother. We'll see you out there. Okay, we're 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 moving along. Who do we got here? Number eleven. Number eleven, and we got. Now go ahead and introduce yourself. Rushy Spence, What's Nick up, buddy? Seuss, my man. Yeah. How you doing, bro? Good, buddy. What was the last time we saw each other? We saw each other in Glamis, where you nearly ended it, dude. Yeah, yeah. I had a spicy spill in Glamis. Um, <laughs> that's how I earned my name. We'll discuss a little bit about me later when we got some time to yeah, tell you the spicy stories. Biography there, dude. Awesome. Well, tell us about your car. What do you know about it? I got this nice Crown Vic. They basically abused the hell out of this thing in a previous video, and then I got it. So that's a tough break. Right? Wow. So she runs, dude, and that's all that matters. So I'm guessing you have the PUBG mobile. You got the PUBG mobile, dude. And this was the one they shot paintballs at. Unfortunately, yes, right here in this. Let's place. go take a look at the other side, guys. We have a target on this car, spray painted. Um, it's definitely kind of funny because if you did see Cletus's other video, which I know y'all did, you guys are loyal subscribers to his YouTube channel. This was the video sponsored by PUBG Mobile, where they ended up putting a target on the side of this and just littered it with paintballs. They're very very, very, very much so. All right, Nick, well, we are happy to have you. I'm glad you made it Hey, safe. thanks for having me, man. I appreciate it. Uh, at the end of the day, when I win this race, I'm going to need a cold Diet Coke out there, buddy. Thanks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Zeus, you are the man. Nick, way to go. All right, guys, as we're waking around, this is going to be actually turn three of the oval. Let's go ahead and get a panoramic of the field. Um, right from here, you guys can see we have our... We have our start finish line all the way over yonder. As our lights are powering up, you guys have a very, very large, large, large track here. Um, a 3 8 oval, if you've never been in one, it's actually quite, quite a hike. It would definitely take you at least three or four minutes to run around this unit. Um, but we have a long way to go, so let's keep the move on. Let's go ahead and introduce. We're going to make it over to our next driver. I'm just walking backwards, so I'm surprised with you guys, because like I said, we're a team of firsts. Who do we have here? We got Senor Jeremy from Faster Proms. How are you doing tonight? Doing all right, man. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. We're happy to have you. Now, tell us a little bit about your unit. Um, well, I don't even know what year it is or anything like that. Uh, I tried to check the oil, but, you know, if you can see on the banking, <laughs> it's like it's throwing me off a little bit. But um, all in all, it looks like a pretty good car. I got more tire than some other guys out here, so I feel pretty fortunate with that. Well, you're here to hear, guys. Jeremy is one of our first contenders to actually done a full, thorough inspection of his vehicle. You'd be happy to know that not a single one of the first three car drivers had any clarity to check tires, yeah, oil pressure, yeah, nothing like yeah. that. Well, we're happy to hear. How many miles did your car have? Ooh, uh, 131. 131. That's on the top, buddy. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, if there's anybody that can drive, I know Cletus was mentioned. You got a, you got a lead foot. So we're excited to see what you can bring to the table. And you're number 84, right? All right, perfect. Well, awesome, Jeremy. We're going to see you out there. Stay safe. We're happy to have you, and thanks for, thanks for joining. Thanks. Guys, this car, I've seen it out of my peripheral because it stands out. You guys got to check this out. He went all out. I'm not sure what he did. Let's go and find out whose vehicle this is. If you know, then you know. But here we have, what number are you? 46. Number 46. Go ahead and introduce yourself. I'm uh, Justin Keith with uh, Streetcar Takeover. Absolutely. I've been friends with Garrett for a long time. He invited me to come out and race, so just out here doing it. And if you're subscribers of Cletus's, you've definitely heard of Streetcar Takeover, one of the biggest and best channels to, to, to stay focused on on the internet. Um, tell us about your car. You are going crazy. You are the artist. I don't know, man. I, I, uh, the movie Days of Thunder, uh, I have a Camaro I wrapped just like Cole Trickle's car, and I decided to paint the, the car just like that one. So well, Hell yeah, brother, number 46 is what you're going to be sporting for the evening. Oh, yeah. Give me an overall of the car. Have you inspected it, checked it out? What are you working with? Well, so far, the tires look like brand new. So I think I got probably got one of the best set of tires out of all the cars here. It's got 90,000 miles on it. Looks like it's in pretty good mechanical shape. I'm going to do some uh, sleeper mods to it. But most of all, this Carlisle Racing Ford uh, Crown Vic is going to be running great tonight. Got it. And awesome, guys. I want to point out something pretty cool here. Look what he's done with his card. 
he's put it right in the window just that way everybody knows he's at the front of the pack we're gonna see him up there getting started I love this thing we're not gonna miss you one bit buddy we're excited to see you out there thanks for joining us be safe all right brother yeah, we're gonna practice some social distancing and I'm gonna practice some social gapping out here too oh you heard that guys he's gonna distance from the front of the pack all right we'll stay safe okay right, thank you. guys I don't know if you can hear this over the audio as again we are a team of firsts but what we're looking at here is I'm catching I don't know if it's Beethoven's Fifth Symphony it could be Bach who knows it could even be Yo-Yo Ma doing a solo on the cello why don't you head this way Chris let's give it take a look who do we have here oh my gosh you guys definitely know who this is this is Blake Wilkie Flew in from California. What is going on, brother? Oh, oh no bow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. San Diego, baby, bringing some Cali blood to the mix. Um, definitely ready to bang, man. I mean, shreddy. We're, we're all about hanging loose, so that's Absolutely. what we're going to do. Well, hell yeah. A secret that most of these boys probably don't know about. If I tell you, you can't share it with anyone, right? Absolutely. Trust is, is all I'm about. Let's take a look. Do you guys hear this? Come closer. You guys got to hear. Look, I'm actually, you know what? Do you mind? Do you, do you guys hear this? This is what's gonna be going on in his race. This man is calm, cool, and collected. His heart rate must be 12 beats per minute because, oh my Lord, and he's got a shark fin. How do you think that's gonna help in these high bank turns coming down? It's hunting, baby, it's hunting season. So I'm coming in hot, dude. These boys, they're all making their cars stand out so I know who each and every one of them is. <laughs> But uh, I'm going to come in like a silent shark and just, just eat them up one by one. Love it. Love it. We'll leave some teeth out there. Now, last time we saw Blake Wilkie, he was driving barefooted in Glamis. Is that going to be the move again today? Can we see? Can we expect to see some shoes thrown out or no? Because I know there's part of the safety equipment. We'll see. All right. A little bit of variable just question marks left with Blake Wilkie. This is going to be exciting to see. He's a great driver. You guys see him on his YouTube channel. All right. Shred hard, brother. Oh, he's got a secret. He's got a secret for us. We got to go take a look at this. Come, come, come. Uh-oh, he's opening the trunk of a police cruiser. What do you got in here? This switch right here. Okay, okay. He's got a switch in here. for. This, this switch is normally what would kill the car on in like any sort of impact. So my boy John told me, he has a long-traveled LTD, Trophy LTD, shout out. Basically, I cut those and splice them together so if there's any sort of an impact, my car won't shut off because that's a fuel pump cutoff switch. Wow. You guys, this man is not messing around. Clearly, we have an experienced racer on our hands. It's going to be really exciting to see Blake out there. Well, we're happy to have you, buddy. We're glad you made it safe. Make sure you stay some social distancing. I hope you don't get gapped too hard. Ooh, one last question. Who are you gunning for? What's Who's, who's out there? Everyone. Everybody. I mean... If you ain't first, you last, right? I'm the only one from Cali, so I gotta hold it down for the the, the West Coast. Well, shred hard, man. Bog deep and let her eat. Yeah, All right, come on, guys. Music back. Music back. Turn that Beethoven back up, man. That's got the flow going. All right, guys. As we're making it past our entrance to the three eighths oval, we're making it down to our actual main straightaway. Okay, um, this is gonna be the best viewpoint from the stands. Once we have you guys all out to the Freedom Factory, the majority of our stands are gonna be looking this way. So you're gonna see a lot of live action on this. Now, let's go ahead and get a look down this main the, down this straight. You guys can see that space. We may see three maybe even four cars wide in this straightaway for some passes and when we get that nitrous button clicked. So let's go ahead and get our next driver here. I believe it's a gentleman from PFI Speed and you're number 30. Go ahead and introduce yourself to the fans. Jamie from PFI Speed. In awesome. Colorado. Jamie, welcome from Colorado. Tell us a little bit about your unit. What do we got going on here? We've got a, you know, nice run of the mill Crown Vic here. Okay. This thing's a ripper. All it's right. gonna go. Got it. Now a lot of your boys are definitely going with the team mentality. So you guys are kind of teaming up. Oh, who, yeah. what, who are you guys good? Here, walk over here. I want to show you how we teamed up. <laughs> guys, another secret. Another driver with another catch. Look at that car. He's gotten some good wheel paint going on there. Go ahead and get a pan of that car, Chris. Number thirty, PFI. What do you got here? Oh man. With rugged radios. So we have walkie-talkies between four drivers. PFI and Boosted Boys, we can all talk to each other the whole time. Wow. Curveballs, guys. Yeah. One of the best things about the Freedom 500 is that there is a lack of rules. Yeah. Freedom is essential here. Freedom to do what you want. Freedom to get creative. Yeah. That's it, that's a yeah. pretty intense move, I must say. Yeah. We love them. We tried them out the whole drive here from Colorado. 
Just playing around at the shop. That's awesome. So you guys are not messing around. You guys are racers to the bone. It's total teamwork. Okay. So speaking of teams, what team is, is out here that you just got to beat? Vic. Vic, the solo guy, you gotta have him. Gotta That's him. great. So he's the roughest at go karting. He's like hands down, cutthroat. Wow. So that's the one you gotta go for. Sounds like you've taken an impact or two. So and, and Justin, you know, he he painted his car real nice there. So yeah. Why don't you ding that up? That thing's That's pretty. Kind of yeah, you're gonna put him out. Yep. All right, awesome. Well, thanks for coming out. Yeah. We're happy to have you, man. Thanks Be safe, me. and we'll see number thirty out there. All right, guys. Wow, this is a lot. This is crazy. I have more energy than I've had since the Red Bull I slammed 12 seconds before my camera time. We gotta get over to this next car driver. We're gonna come up on this. Okay, we got a little paintwork coming here. I'm not quite sure, no number on this side yet. Let's get a little closer and see who we're working with. Oh no, dude. James Dobbs! Spicy Spence, what's, what's up, up dude? Buddy? You're doing great out here, man. You are killing it. Thanks, man, I'm happy to be out here. The fact that you guys let me do this is awesome. You guys are like a family anyone else out here doing it. Dude. Wow, that means the world to me, man. That really does light me up. Yeah. Well, so good. tell us about your unit. I got number three here. Uh, I don't have the they don't have the sticker on there, but you gotta do it for Dale. You know, got wow. got O three out here. And you know what's better than a good old bush light? So you know, going with a bush light theme, number three on the side. Got a couple sponsor stickers around here of people that always well, support us. We got Texas Speed on their motion race works, got awesome. clapped out, you know, guys like that. So you know, out here ready to ready to race. That's good, that's good. Well let's do a walk around your car. I wanna do a little bit of, of digging in here. Now, James has a little bit of an advantage, folks. James has been, do you guys hear that? He's worked on every single unit. So, I don't know, he could have maybe put some hidden tools in each of these, or maybe maybe some extra nitrous. We don't really know. I don't think there's gonna be a, he said there might even be something in his pocket. This is a man with question marks, the Joker himself. James Tao, everybody knows who you are. We're happy to have you, and, and we're, we're just so excited that you put a lot of your blood, sweat, and tears into this track, man. Over the past week, I've been here battling out the elements with you, the sun, the heat, uh, the lack of water for our sod, but um, this has been a trip, man. We have some, wow, you have the whole back of the car blue. I like it, I like it, man. Okay, now, one question. Obviously, you're on Kalidas' team. Cooper's your homie. Who are we really trying to get? There is going to be some solid hitters out there. You know, there's going to be a there's a lot of drivers. Not a lot of people know about some of these single team guys out here. Like Taylor Ray's a phenomenal driver. You know, we got a couple guys like that. You know, hidden in the playing fields that people don't really know that they can drive all that good. So, um, I'm starting in the middle of the pack at six. Okay. Okay. So I got a few heavy hitters in front of me. One being Cletus Taylor's out there. You got Emilio from Boosted Boys out there. You know, there's a lot of good guys in front of me. So I feel it's going to be a a solid, solid race to try to get to the front of the pack to stay out front. That's awesome, James. It sounds like you've had a pretty premeditated version of how this is going to go down in your head, especially with the number three doing it for Dale. That's got to add some horsepower. You have some advantage, but James. We are going to see you out there. I've got my eye pegged on you because I know you're a racer. I've been taking some a couple L's this week from you when we were racing. I'll be admit, I'll admit it, guys. I James has spanked okay, how many, me. How many did you catch? Oh, damn. <laughs> he kept track. I was hoping he lost count, but I did take three L's. I'm a big competitor, but uh, when you compete, you can't always win. All right, guys, let's go ahead and head our way down this straightaway. Wow. They see me rolling, they see me hating. They hating, patrolling, you're trying to catch Emilio riding dirty. I figured I had to, you know, go out in style, you know? Wow, let's, can we get a shot on these? Can we get you, can we get you posted up next to your wheels like a rap video, buddy? Let's get it in there. We'll add the music uh, later on. Um, look at that, look at that bling, look at that shine. And how many inches are we looking at here? That's a- We are looking at 24 inches. Whoa! Gold. Uh, that's how we roll, you know? And did you bring these 24 karat gold wheels in, or yeah, did you I had them shipped, special made deliver? Today, man. Awesome. And what do we have written down the side here? I see you got no stickers. You went with the. I don't have any stickers. Really, the only stickers I have are on the other side. But uh, I just went with Honda. That's my car. You know, my 2004 STI with the K swap. Absolutely. The world shirt on. That's awesome. Everybody knows Emilio from Honda Roo. What he's more famously known from, and people are texting in on this, was um, I, I'm really interested. I'm really interested to know how you're going to come back after that big L from the wrestling match up in Colorado on your snowboarding trip with Cletus. And you were there, so you, you know you saw it. But 
I don't know, man. I mean, I gave Garrett that one. You know, you know how you know how Toretto let off the let off yeah, the gas on, yeah, you know. He lifted. And yeah, he lifted, and that's what I did that time. But I'm not lifting this time, and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna give it to him. Wow, you guys hear that? He said he gave Cletus a, a freebie. I lifted on him, you know. That's that's a bold statement, but Emilio, <laughs> we're gonna see if we can get you at least in the top ten, maybe even a podium finish. Is there a top twenty? Uh, there is. There's 19 uh, cars on the field, so uh, it's a top 19. Okay. I'll yeah. Get in one Hell, hell yeah. All right. Hey, All right. I'm starting at the front. Yes, that's so, right. Everybody, I let's. Like I got a big target on my back right now. He's our pole position racer. So, um, what is your strategy? You're going to try to step away from the pack or you're going to try to conserve your unit? I mean, I figured in the beginning everybody's going to try to hit each other or, you know, it's going to go crazy the first couple laps. So, I'm just going to try to stay out the way. I'm going to just give it all the gas. I might even hit some nitrous just to pull away in the front. I'm wow. Gonna, I like that strategy. Already. <laughs> wow. He might smoke the whole bottle yeah, first lap. Let's do it. All right, Emilio. Well, thank you for coming here. I'm glad you made it safe. Stay on top of your social distancing. Wash your hands, bro. And hey, next time you're out here, empanadas, man. I'm hungry. I eat. Spicy's wants some. Oh, perfect, dude. I'll just put it in the grass and you gotta go get it. Okay, yeah, we gotta. Yes, well, way to, th way to think ahead. Way to think ahead. All right, as we make it over, Emilio is gonna be our pole position racer. So let's go ahead and slide down. Let me get a panoramic of this kind of shot right here, guys. This right here is where the old DeSoto Speedway sign used to be. We had um, our boys from Project Prime set us up with one of the finest and the largest decals that they've done year to date. If you look at here, we have the Freedom Factory logo and in the gorgeous Freedom Factory blue, we have rebranded this place the Freedom Factory. Guys, in the background, you see a lot of stuff. We gotta keep working on this place. As Garrett said, we never really intended to have a race this soon, but we're race car drivers, a lot of adrenaline. We're ready to rip. So let's go ahead and slide over to this next driver. We have number 24. Wow, look who it is, guys. It's Cooper, the pilot of the Mystery Machine. Tell you what, Coop, I'm actually gonna hand you the microphone here for a second. You just do so well on camera. Let me go ahead and swing it back to you, okay? Give us a walk around your car, talk to us about your pole posi your position, and uh, just give us a rundown. Yeah, give her a toss. Oh. All right, well, this is a Crown Victoria. Not a lot in the field today. One of the rare ones. And gear, no idea. Um, I went with a nice gold, red, or nice silver, red, and uh, blue paint job on it because that's actually all I had. Wow. Now, <laughs> it kind of works. Tell me about your unit. How many miles do you have on your bike? <sighs> Undisclosed. Undisclosed. Does yes. That mean you haven't looked yet? I have not looked yet. Wow, guys, this is another racer that has failed to even inspect his unit. I haven't even started the thing. I was just thinking about it. It, it might not even run. Oh, dang. They, we might have pushed it here. That's crazy. Well, let's go ahead and walk around the front of your vehicle. Yeah, and take a, look. Take a okay. walk. No, I don't need one. I have one. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and get a shot of Alex Carson. He is the manager of the Freedom Factory. Here, you want to grab that back? This is Alec Carson, the guy that makes this place come together. Alec, thank you so much for your help. Go ahead and stay farther away from me, buddy. You stink because you've been close. sweating so much working this place. Tell me about your time here. How long have you been working with the Freedom Factory and Cletus McFarland? Uh, I've been about, about a month here so awesome. far but I'm loving it so far. Good, well you're a hard worker. I've seen you here since this place was dirt to what it looks like now. Alec, you are the man. Thank you so much for everything you do. He's the behind the scenes guy. This guy is the one that's pulling it together, some of the things that you guys see here. So thank you, Alec, we'll see you out here, okay? Absolutely. All right, back to Coop. Whoa, whoa, this looks good. Number 24, man. Isn't that Jeff Gordon's number? It is. Notoriously known as Jeff Gordon. All right, well Coop, I've seen a lot of the surprises up people's cars. There are tricks up everybody's sleeves. There are things that you and I never would have thought about. I kind of expected the McFarland channel to kind of come up with some curveballs. Do you have anybody you're worried about tonight? I'm not really worried about anybody, honestly. Wow. I've seen the whole field. JH, I don't even know who that guy is. I'm sorry, JH who? Exactly. Yeah, I've never. Everybody's going to be saying after tonight. Yeah, JH who? I... Oh, whatever. Well, I guess he must be out here. Now, him. The rumor has it there's going to be a spaghetti slick in your vehicle where you're going to throw out not just pasta, rigatoni. you got every single noodle coming out of here. Grandma's glass jars and all. Woo, that could be dangerous, folks. Well, 
Cooper, thank you so much. I know you put a lot of work into this place. I've seen you out here for the past two weeks. That's why your skin's so dark. You've been in the sun, keeping it real, sweating it out, laying sod, Pump helping. Pump spray paint now. Pump spray paint. <laughs> All right, don't get too dizzy, buddy. Stay away. Hell yeah, brother, and we'll see you out there. All right, Coop? Hell yeah. Got it, awesome. Hey, let me get a water. Thank you so much, Chris. Way to go. I have just been ripping this thing. All right, guys, I hope the live feed's going good. Everything out here is exciting. There's a lot of adrenaline. This is a one-of-a-kind event. So thank you guys for tuning in. Let's go ahead and check out our next rider over here. He actually, it sounds like we got power tools. Dad, Dale, no power tools. No power tools. No, no, nobody said that. <laughs> All right, come on down here. Who do we have? Go ahead and introduce yourself. Uh, my name's Doug. I'm from Side by Side Blog. So we do a bunch of off-road stuff and uh, gonna try to go fast around an asphalt oval tonight. Awesome. If you guys didn't see Doug's recent video, they reviewed the new Kawasaki. That was a good unit. They had a lot of great things to say, but let's go ahead and talk about your unit tonight because this is a whole new ball game. You have a windshield. You got windows. This is something that's just, are you used to a vehicle like this? I'm not, but uh, we've had a nice talk. She's a good girl. I think we're gonna have a fine time tonight. Got it. And I love that color blue. That's got to be my favorite. Now, what number are you, Doug? I think we got a 31. Yeah, 31 Uh-oh. Am I seeing what I'm seeing? Is this a little red, white, and blue? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, man. Just a classic American paint scheme, you know? Nothing too fancy, but... That's good. Well, awesome. And um, I got to ask, I know you side-by-side -side blog guys did a little teaming up, I think. Um, who are you gunning for? What team has is, is got, got your, your, your sights set on? I mean, you know we're going after Cletus. Oh. I mean, he's the one, right? He's yeah. got all the laps out here. He's got the home track advantage. Nice. So we're going for Cletus. We made it half the way through the field before someone called Cleter out. <laughs> um, this is kind of interesting, but uh, I'm excited to see that. You guys are going for the guy, the king, the guy who's, I mean, this is his dojo, but I'm excited to see somebody try to dethrone it. So, way to go, man. There's nobody else in my mind, man. Right to the front. All right, well, be safe, good luck, and we're happy to have you, man. Thank you. Later, Doug. Okay, let's go ahead and come up the high side of this track right here. Oh my goodness, America the Brave. Oh, oh my Lord! Guys, we have a full-blown flag mounted to the trunk of this Crown Victoria. Nick, go ahead and introduce us and tell us a little bit about your car. Well, Nick Leonard out here in a Crown Vic at go the Freedom Freedom 500. Yep. And I uh, got to get Old Glory. You can't have a Freedom 500 without having an Old Glory. Just makes perfect sense. You know, so it's on a lighted whip as well, which wow, is going to be closer to the vehicle. Going to be lit see. up red, white, and blue. Let's go ahead and get come over here, guys. Now, this is again another one of the gentlemen from SideBySideBlog.com. If you guys know Side by Sides, they're pretty awesome at having these glowing and lit whips on the Absolutely. back of their units. So what did he do? He made his Crown Vic a little bit more side by side. <laughs> what do you got in the trunk? Are you showing off? Uh, no, I'm just working on the wiring job. So all I got okay. now is to run uh, some power and ground for this lighted whip, and we'll have a red, white, blue whip, uh, lit up whip with a four by six old glory. So freedom five. Wow, this is a this is a rig right here, and we have Nick as number 21. 21, 20, savage, dude. 21 savage. You heard that? Look at that. All right, guys. Wow. Um, Nick, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you one last thing, Nick. Okay, we got to keep going. All right, Nick, we'll see you later. All right, we're guys, we're trying to stay on schedule as we move through the field. We got number five here. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Hey, I'm Adam Elzey. I drift. He drifts. He likes to go sideways, so this is going to be a new thing for him. Adam, what have you done? We got a hat and a sombrero. What's that? Sombrero and some aviators and a mustache. That's you. It's whatever you wanted to be, man. All right, well, hell yeah, Adam. We're gonna see a lot from you in the number five unit. We got some paint jobs, more mustaches. I must ask you. Ooh, we gotta, we gotta get over here. Come on, Chris. Come on, Chris. We're in a hurry. We have a spoiler. This downforce is gonna rip. We're gonna see the back tires on this thing probably wear out before every other unit because of that downforce. Let's go ahead and keep moving, guys. We're gonna be on a schedule. Okay. Oh my goodness, number 33, Double Dale. Let's get over to this driver. I'm not sure I can recognize who the, I'm not sure I even know who this is. What, who are you? Who? Justin Hildebrand here, J.H. Diesel. J.H. who? J.H. who is here right J now. I'm, I'm confused, J.H. who? J.H. who, you got But who's, who's in the car? J.H. You're J.H.? I'm J.H. You're J.H. who? That's it. Guys, you heard it here first. J.H. Hu, the driver of this car, number 33 in a Crown Victoria, representing his shop, which he owns. J.H. Diesel builds the raddest mud boggers, diesel builds. He does it all. Full rebuilds, custom shops, wheels, kits, lifts, tires. J.H., we're going to see you out there. Let's go. All right. And we got Taylor. Taylor, another, I think you're a drifter, aren't you? I, I, number seven. I am a drifter. 
He is a drifter. Oh, Chris, we got you downwind of that spray paint. Our cameraman is gonna be losing it. All right, Taylor, tell us a little bit about your car really quick. Uh, it's red, it's got some gold, and then it's got gold wheels, which you know that makes it amazing. And uh, yeah, I need to finish spray painting it, but it'll look like a beaut when I'm done. Got it. He went for style over mechanical inspection. We didn't get any lowdown on the Crown Vic from him. I don't think he's turned it on. He hasn't checked the oil pressure. He hasn't checked the tire pressure. This gentleman is just used to going sideways. So let's keep going, guys. We're down to the last two cars. Okay, guys, this is crazy. Let's get one last pan. Look at that. We have a lit whip, a lit whip in the distance. I have a lot of red, white, and blue in the field. These cars are coming together. As we come up to the second to last vehicle here, we have got more stickers on this unit than any other unit out here. We got bald eagles. Hey, this is LS George. LS George, tell us what's going on with your unit. Well, I got this big old bald eagle here. I'm hoping this thing will get me right through the finish line. All I had was stickers. I didn't have no spray paint, and I got my name right here, man. That's all I can do. That's all you got. How about give us a mile breakdown? Do you even turn your unit on yet? Uh, I drove it out here and parked it here. It's surprising how many of these drivers haven't checked out their unit. This is remarkable. All right, guys, we got number 88, LS George, a guy that's been racing a long time. He's a good driver. Guys, we have done it. We have inspected 18 Crown Victorias. We have looked at 18 different drivers, racers, and artist style. We've looked at the most creative pieces of, uh, uh, man, it's just crazy. We've seen classical music, lit whips. We've seen secrets and cheat codes happen. Guys, as we come down to the man, the myth, Cletus, Mick, Farland, tell us about your Crown Victoria. Freedom Factory Mobile right here. Guys, I, I saved a little something for you. Uh, let me grab a, let me grab a, my, my other, can of spray paint. Come with me. Come on. I gotta. I gotta find it. I don't know what I do with it. Ah, here it is. Over here. Cometh. Ah, that's not it. <laughs> we go back. <laughs> All right. This might be it. I think I've already. Yeah, I think I've used this. Let me. Let me give her a test. Let me give her a test. We got a live action. Okay, that'll work. All right, so guys, my boy uh, Matt from Demo Ranch couldn't make it, and uh, he had recently had a family event that uh, his brother passed away. So today, with my car, I'm doing it for Mark, his brother. So we're gonna wow. do That's amazing. it. Your wind to Mark. That's... Well, I mean, I got the wind in the bag, so. Oh. Confidence is leaking out of that that man Cletus. So. We're gonna let it rip today, boys. It's absolutely all coming together. It's time to race. Spence, I'm gonna hand it back to you, dude. I'm just pumped up, dude. Like <laughs> Whoa! He's getting wild, folks! <laughs> She's gone. This week has been insane. It has. And I'm so ready to race. Well, good. I'm gonna take home this W. Good. Do it for Florida, do it for the Freedom Factory, and most importantly, do it for Mark. Yes, sir, brother. All right. Boys, it's almost time for the national anthem, which Spencer will be singing live. <laughs> is your voice okay? Oh, man, I've just been yelling, hooting and hollering. My energy is through the roof. We're going to give the national anthem a shot. but uh. Yeah. Hey, uh, shout out to Spence, dude. He came out here, lives out of town, and he's actually been here for two weeks helping with the project and everything. So, Spence, I'll hand it back to you. And then uh, I say we go to just a live stream of the track for a couple minutes while we prepare for national anthem. Maybe go to the announcer's booth. Sounds good. There you go, brother. All right. All right, guys, you heard it here. We just in, we just uh, interviewed the entire field. Cletus has wrapped it up for us. His car is looking good. Guys, I'm going to go ahead and pass it off to my main guys. These guys are going to help me announce here, okay? We got a gentleman by the name of Just Garza. I think he was born with just that name, uh, kind of like Cher or uh, Seal. These guys, I mean, Garza, that's all we know. Uh, then, then we have the one, the only, Nick Savage. I think a lot of you guys may know who that is. So when we get the go ahead, we're gonna slide it up to them in our announcer's booth, and they're gonna get us rocking and rolling with just some overview, talk about the field, give us a lowdown. Uh, Chris, go ahead. Yeah, let's see, let's go back to Cletus real quick. He's gonna give us a startup as we're getting ready. Chris, can you find out when we're? I haven't even started he hasn't even started his unit either. <laughs> One of the only guys that started it was Victor from Bradenton Motorsports. Motorsports. Cletus, how many miles does it even have? I don't even know where my keys are. He he's lost his keys. How's this man gonna race? He's got his flashlight out looking for. Who oh, he's got him? He's got him. Let's hear it. Oh, oh wow! Give me some throttle. 
strong unit. That's a strong unit. Oh, he is confident, folks. He is confident. Guys, Garza. I'm gonna, yeah. I'm going to be throwing these out of the car, so watch out. <laughs> Miami Nation. Do you guys see that? He's got road debris that are going to be out there. He's got gift packages. I believe that's a good dozen. All right, guys. Can we go ahead and get a, uh, a countdown on when my guys up in the... Uh, up in the announcer booth are ready. We got an aerial stream right there. We got our drone flying the track. We have everything set up, guys. As we get prepped for this, again, I wanna say thank you to everybody. Everybody, we're gonna go ahead and pass it now to Garza and Nick Savage up in our announcer booth. Thank you, guys. Again, I'm Spicy Spence. We'll see ya. So it's currently on the drone. Huh? It's currently on the drone? Awesome. Hello, hello. Hello, Nick Savage here. Can you hear me? Over to you, boys. Oh, watch out. <laughs> We're live now, baby. You What's got up? your boy Garza. You got your boy Savage. You Savage, know the what deal. do you think? What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Freedom 500. We're live and local, limited production, but we're still sending it. You know the deal. Daddy's home. Savage, who do you got winning tonight? Oh, it's a tough, it's a tough call, but I'm going. Uh, it's going to either be J H, Cletus, okay. okay, or Justin Key with Stain Killer, with Stain Killer Productions, baby. You know the deal. J H is going to be in the very back of the pack tonight, but I'm telling you what, that guy is a competitor. He's going to be doing everything he can do. Rubbin's racing, baby. J H, J A two. That's all I'm saying. To the top. You know the deal. See, I don't think it's J H tonight. I'm going with. The underdog, bad Chad for the win, and for second, James all day. Mm, that's a good choice. I don't know, fella. I'm, I'm pulling for JH. I think Cooper might have a chance as well. I'm pulling for everybody out there. I'm just excited to be here. Hope you guys are having fun back at home. Be safe, everybody. You know the deal. We're hoping for a clean race, a safe race, but a competitive race. I'm hoping bad Chad gets the win because I got money on him, but... Other than that, Blake, Blake, my dog Blake, Shreddy Life, a hey, he's gonna become. Fuel tanks, they're uh, sponsoring the race tonight. We also want to thank Motion Race Works, Texas Speed and Performance, Holly, and Nitto for sponsoring the Freedom Factory. I'm just saying, thank you guys. They're great sponsors. Go support them. We couldn't you know do it without you guys. We love you. That's right. What's everybody think so far of this live stream? We're looking out here. We got some limited production lights over here. You know, a little bit of whoop. It's working pretty good, though. Yeah, I think y'all can see us. Uh, we're working on a budget. We're balling on a budget. I mean, the cars look great. We got, uh, we got a lot of characters out here. And uh, I'm excited. I'm excited. Very excited. There's lots of mullets in the house. I'm just saying. Lots of mullets in the house. I did get this uh, headband from Joe Exotic, so if you guys want to zoom in on that, I had to send him two ramens and a can of chicken. You know the deal. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And shout out to Goodwill for the drip. Like I said, we're balling on a budget. I think Tiger Woods... Uh Got to go hard. <laughs> Got to go hard. <laughs> go up high. Go up all the way. <laughs> Go to the top. Go to the top rope, Garza. There it is. Woo! You know the deal. You know the deal. We're going to be here live action all night, in your ear, keeping y'all awake. Hope y'all are ready. It's going to be a good race, fellas. Everybody, let us know who you think is going to be the winner tonight. Go on our Instagrams. You know the deal. Official Nick Savage. Daddy Garza in the house. You know it. Send us some messages. Let us know who you think is going to win. Give us some questions. Let us know what you want to hear, brother. You know the deal. Hell yeah, brother. Shout out to Ignite Race Fuel. Jay Barry, you're the man. You've been supporting us for many years. We thank you, brother. You know the deal. We love you, man. We love you. All right. All right, man. These guys are getting ready. Shout out to... ...about to kill it on the national anthem. Break a leg out there, brother. 
We're excited. Also, let us know what you think about the cold trickle car, the Trick 1LE, the Justin Keith car. They just got done with that. It is a purpose-built burnout car. Shout out to Justin. You know the deal. Shout out to Justin. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Let's hit it, boys. Let's go racing. Who's ready to go? I'm ready. I can't wait. Let's start these engines. Let's go. Mm. Can't mm. believe it ain't butter. Woo! <laughs> So I'm looking at these cars, man. They are looking great. Who do you think's got the best paint scheme so far? Ooh, uh, I did like the, uh, ah, man, that's a tough one. They're... The Freedom Factory car is looking pretty sweet right now. I'm looking at them all, dude. I'm going to have to go with, uh, it's a tough one. Who you got? Well, trying not to be biased right now. but Same I'm... here, because they all look great. I mean, for the amount of time that they had put these together. Adam LZ's car looks really nice. I'm, LZ, I'm digging that. That's one of my favorites right now. That is one of my favorites. Um, shout out to Victor over there. He's the owner of Bradenton Motorsports Speedway. Shout out to Victor. He's the man. We call him AKA Baby Drake. Be honest with me. Hit me straight. What do you think Victor's coming in tonight? <sighs> I think Victor's getting spun out. <laughs> I'm sorry, brother. <laughs> what do you say that? I don't think he's finishing the race. <laughs> well, good no, luck, no, Victor. Victor. You yeah, know the deal. Luck. Local boy here. We love you, Victor. We know the deal. So, let me ask you this. Who's going to be the last five? Ooh. I'm thinking for... Let's, let's say, let's talk about who's going to be in the top five, not the bottom five. Let's just be honest. Is everyone going to finish the race? Um, is everyone going to finish the race? I'm going to be honest with you, brother. Absolutely not. <laughs> not the way these guys drive, especially these Florida boys. Shout out, Florida boys. Born and raised. Florida. You know the deal. Watch out. He's got the hat. Show him the hat, Garza. Let's see it. The hat. Always ready. You got you got that thing on you or no? Oh, the thing? It's on me, but I'll wait for it. All right. <laughs> just, just checking. Oh, yeah. You know I always got that thing on me. Oh, yeah. So I'm gonna say top five is gonna be Florida boys. Well, let's hear it. What's your top five? Top five. Um, I got Bad Chats number one. I got. Mm, if you guys want to put some money on a little wager on that beard, we might have to do a half shave. And Garza will be shaving. <laughs> But I think uh, J.H., I think the Team J.H. will be in the top five. He, he's going to be a strong competitor. I mean, to be honest with you. He is related to Shrek. <laughs> he is related to Shrek. Oh, Linda Hand. Is, is he your dad? He is not my dad. Oh, I, just, but, I didn't know. But uh, he could be, actually. <laughs> I think top five is going to go Bad Chad, um, James, Cletus, Cooper, and I think J.H. will be the fifth one. Mm, that's but close. But J.H. is going to be a tough fifth one. He's I'm going thinking, to be rubbing. I'm thinking of Shreddy Life. I think he's going to be getting in there. He's Shreddy a good Life, driver. One of my favorites. One you got to favorites. watch out for Brent from PFI Speed. Okay. okay. Lucid Boys. I don't know. You got uh, Emilio. He's a good roundhouser. I'm not real sure about the, <laughs> the racing, but he did hit some round. expect a little more from him, but I mean, Garrett, he's got those long arms. Gets under that chin, you know. Garrett's a giraffe, but he is, he is a, he's a strong, skinny feller. Yeah, I think it's going to be real competitive. I mean, they all got nitrous. I mean, it's, it's going to be a competitive race either, either way. Look, you're looking good, Garth. Are you, are you under 300 pounds yet, or? Right now, I'm weighing in about 250. Looking nice, son. Looking yeah. nice. What about you? I like to get up. Is that new drip? Oh, this is the OG. Wow. I like that. I like this that. This is the OG Savage suit OG, with the new headband. Thank you, uh, Joe Exotic. Joe Exotic, my guy. We Joe Exotic. Mm. So, tonight, we got all the cars ready. They're all running great. Now, do you think they're all going to... Oh, I 
think there's going to be some tires flying off. I mean, I'm going to be honest here. You might see some people get pushed into the wall. Yeah. Hey, brother, we're on a circle track. You know, you just got to send it full blast. Shout out to Larry and Tyser, my boy. You know the deal. Larry and Tyser, where are you at, brother? It's all right. I know you're at home. It's all right. Hang out on that couch, Larry. Ha, and now you got a few bush lights with you, too. Send one for me. Save one for me. Who else's car are you liking right now, Garza? I like the lights. Who's got the lights out there? Oh, that's side-by-side, boys, right there. Ooh, yeah. Uh, Side-by-sides, not... side, they're going to be in the grass a lot. I think they're just naturally attracted to it. So I oh. think they're going to be in the grass. Do you think we're going to have anyone pass in the grass? Uh, I hope not. That's fresh sod. So that if, is if, fresh if they do that, good. that will be hilarious. But <laughs> I didn't say that. Well, he can. He he did. Uh, this is his track. So I think that's the cleanest move. If uh, there's going to be a pass in the grass. Well, we're going to find out here shortly. Yeah, I can't wait. I'm excited. How's your blood flowing? It, Freedom is going, baby. It is rocking. Oh, man, I'm on cloud nine. Who else's car is out there? Let's give us a gander here. So hard to see with this great tent. Here, everybody, let's let's zoom in on this light here. Yeah, Get excuse it. the light. I mean, like you said, we're falling on a budget. We're out here making it hell. We you are know. making it hell, baby. <laughs> Raising hell. Raise hell, praise hell. You might have heard a few of them things. Okay, okay. I'm going to come up with a few of those. Praise Dale, praise Dale, do it for Dale. I'm looking at these cars, man. Everyone's getting ready. Everyone's pumped up. Ever to a few drivers. And I'm getting out. We're ready. Live local. Shout out to Jay Barry, Jay Legend, Ignite Race Fuel. You Don't know, know the deal, who you brother. Are, but Savage likes you, I like you. Garza can't hang, Jay. It's all right. Don't worry. Garza's always there. <laughs> hey, we want to say a big shout-out to Cletus McFarland for putting on this race. Uh, a lot of you followers that have been here for a while, um, the channel's come a long way. Um, I, met, I met Cletus oh, probably four years ago at a streetcar takeover event, and uh, we just kind of started to bond from there. And uh, we're actually at Beach Bend Raceway in Dallas that owns the track. He gave us a tour. He owns a water park, an amusement park, and a uh, RV park, and he's on a golf cart. He's got us on there, almost flips the golf cart with Garrett in the back and all of us. Didn't and literally saw time. my life come before my eyes immediately. track is beautiful. I've actually uh, been on this track as a kid, and I can tell you what, it did not look this great. I mean, this track is absolutely gorgeous, especially took, from the remodel to seeing it now. My, I was just stunned. It's, it's beautiful, and uh, y'all are going to enjoy it. I can't wait to see this track with a full crowd. I mean, it is going to be absolutely insane. This is the freedom that y'all deserve, and this is the freedom that y'all are going to get. How long did it take you to make a lap out there, Garza? Five minutes? Uh, ten minutes to run it. Um, five minutes. Uh, five minutes to sprint. Could you do ten push-ups right now? Ten push-ups? We can try. Could you, could you do? Could you do the ten push-up challenge? Here's some up top. Do ten push-ups right there. Hit it. I want to see it. Garza coming in hot with the ten push-ups. Three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. I am Woo! impressed. Daddy's been working out, baby. You're down to 225 now. I like that. Thank you, sir. Woo! Blood is flowing now. I'm ready for this race. All right, everybody. I'm going to check my phone. Garza, take it over, brother. Okay, Garza is taking it over. We got Savage on the phone. Uh, we want to give a shout out to uh, Savage's kids. Isaiah, Isaiah, your birthday, shout out. Happy birthday. All right, I'm back, everybody. We want to give a shout out to Seth from Texas Speed. He's a great guy. So is Keith from Holly. We're loving it, brother. You know the deal. Go support the people that support the Freedom Factory. They're great people, great companies to work for. 
And like I said, yeah, this could not be a better family around here. I mean, everybody. And, uh, you know, I want to give a shout out to the boat boys. Never give up on your dreams. Shout out. Uh, I want to give a shout out to all the cross surveying boys. Shout out, boys. Hey. <laughs> Like I said, excuse the production. I mean, we're working on a budget. We're balling, but we're here to give you all the freedom. Once this race starts, it's going to be game on, boys. And if we'll have to check our phones and see if that's what we got going on. Okay, this is not a fixed race. 10 4. Savage. Oh, Shreddy life. Shreddy's killing it right now. Wow. Now we get a close up to actually look at these cars. Okay, I see the 30 in the back. I like the green on that. Woo, Savage. How about you get off your phone and get on the fucking you know the deal. Hey, I, I'm just sitting here talking to Kyle Loft, his 1320 video. We're working on it, brother. We're working, We're working on, on it. it. Try to get the it, audio guys. right. Is my face very burnt? I feel like it's burnt to a crisp right now. This guy's my been eyes. in Florida one day, and you see what happened. <laughs> I know, I know. Florida's not for everybody. I want to make sure that our list is working out right. Guard to go ahead. Well, I saw that they picked their cars, and uh, they got everybody... Um, in order. And like I said, Bad Chad's number two. I, I said from the get-go, I think he might be the one that's the underdog. I talked to him earlier. Uh, he didn't really have much to say. He said he was very focused. Very focused. So, um, I think that's going to be a big part, too. Also, shout out to 1320 Video. Go out and support them. They've been supporting us a long time as well. Kyle, we That's an OG street racing talk right there, brother. That was one fast street truck. Shout out, Kyle. Good guy, good guy. I'm ready for these engines to start. Look at them, making a couple hot laps. Everybody's kind of getting their car fine-tuned right now before they start it up. Yep, they are. They are uh, getting, oh, I see, I see doors shutting. They're getting ready. Um, I want to give a huge shout out to Alex. Busting his butt all week long, working out here on this track and being here every day at 7 a.m. Shout out to Alex. Good guy, too. Very good guy. Brethren, <laughs> dang, uh, guys, we're just going to uh, hang out here for a minute. We're giving all the drivers a chance to make sure that their seat belts are tight, that their uh, transponders are good, because we're all wearing these little race radios so that we can speak with the, uh, or the race director can speak with us. We can't talk back, unfortunately. So we're just chilling here right now. Spence, dude, you did a great job announcing so far. I pulled up the live feed. Guys. I'm going to be honest with you. We are winging it. Like, that is the honest truth. We are straight up winging it. But given the current circumstances, we wanted to do this for you guys. And uh, I just want to thank you guys all so much for uh, tuning in. Because, I, dude, I'm just so excited. Like, what are the chances we were able to make this, uh, this happen?
All right, guys. So, uh, you know, what's that? You wanna go down? Okay, yeah, guys. Sorry, boys. I'm just trying to kind of uh, fill in for a minute. So, what we'll do is we'll just go over the race layout. Uh, we've got our race director Garrett down there, and uh, hey, Garrett, Garrett, wave for a second. Garrett is a stock car racer, so he's he's actually won races out here. So we brought him out before we had the track, and I knew he raced out here. So I reached out. I was like, yo, dude, we need someone to run this race because we're a bunch of drag racers. We all know what the hell we're doing. So he came out, dude, super cool guy. Hey, Spence, can you go up there and click the lights on on the track thing? Yeah. Actually, Garrett, Garrett can do it. Hey, Garrett, can we test the lights so we can show the, the camera? Can we test the track lights so we can show the camera? Never mind. He's got it. Spence has got it. We're going to test the lights. So look down here. There's actually these old stop lights on the track. Look at this. We're going to get you red first. Yeah, give us red. Boom. Look at that. All right. Let's go yellow. All right. Green. Pretty freaking cool. So turns out literally all of them worked. And also, not to mention, boys, look at that. The damn scoreboard works. It amazes me that uh, some of the stuff that's out here. Why well, you can actually turn them all three on at once? It amazes me that some of the stuff out here has actually worked. It's it's quite impressive. So, our electrician maybe spent ten minutes on it and got it up and running. Didn't change any bulbs, nothing. Brother, we're good to go. So yeah, we got Garrett as the race director. The gist of it is, I mean, if you go yellow, basically you get behind the leaders. The pack is supposed to become one. We're gonna cruise about twenty mile an hour. The pace car will come out if it's any extended caution. If it's just a quick caution, like a flat tire or something, then uh, you know we'll just slow down into a caution for a couple seconds, get back right into race, and we'll go green right here at the start finish when Garrett thinks we're ready. Other than that, if we go red, that means you have to come to a complete stop on the track. The only reason you'll get black flagged at the Freedom 500 is if you uh, straight up just smash someone for no reason. If you turn someone in the wall, brother, we will have to black flag you. Or I guess if your engine blows up. If your engine blows up, you're probably going to get black flag because we don't want a bunch of oil on the race. Other than that, it's time to race, guys. I mean, what? it's unbelievable that the Freedom Factory was uh, has come around this quick and is now raceable, and we have 20 cars about to unleash. Not just 20 normal cars, though. 20 nitrous-powered Crown Vic. So it's just unreal. And I want to thank you guys all so much. So uh, this is a good time to thank our sponsors, too, uh, Titan. Uh, they make double extra large fuel tanks for pretty much anything you need. If you have a race car and you need a fuel tank, Titan Fuel Tanks has got you covered. If you need a, a larger fuel tank for your Dodge Diesel like what I've got, White Buffalo, i got a Ram 3500. They make a 50-gallon fuel cell for that thing. Titan Fuel Tanks is your go-to for fuel cells. I also want to give a, a shout-out to our sponsors of the Freedom Factory. Over here, boys, our family, Motion Raceworks. Guys, been with those dudes for forever. We buy so many parts from them. Motion Raceworks is like... Do their family. I mean, all these guys are family. Texas Speed and Performance, y'all know the deal. We've got thousands of horsepower on deck because of Texas Speed. Shout out to them, all of our LS performance needs. Uh, we got Holly Performance. It goes without saying, every car in our fleet pretty much has a Holly uh, ECU on it. We run all sorts of Holly parts, so shout out to Holly. And then we got Nitto Tire. <laughs> we actually just got a shipment at the shop the other day of like 50 Nitto NT555Rs. And they actually just came out with their new NATO drag radial, their NT555R2s. So pretty awesome, and uh, that's about it, man. It's just it's incredible that we've been able to do this, and I'm really just thankful for uh, our broadcasters too because from what I've seen so far, the broadcast is decent, and that's better than, than, uh, than we could all expect because we're YouTubers, and we're winging it, and we're freaking doing it live, and we're about to race, so... I think uh, we're pretty much almost ready here for the national anthem. The only thing I'm also worried about is getting these guys to uh, get in a <laughs> a tight pack to start and like getting the run order because most of them have probably already forgotten their cards. But whatever, here we're we're here to race. How are we looking on national anthem? Spence, are you ready? I'm about as ready as I can get. <laughs> all that, I, uh, I'll do my best. All right, Spence, are you ready? Okay, you want to make an announcement for everyone to remove their hats? There we go, guys. Hats off. We got the flag over here. Ladies and gentlemen, go ahead and remove your ball caps for the 
singing of the national anthem. Spencer is talking. Spence, come, come down here. Okay, come down? Yeah. Well, no, nah, you're good. You're good. I just want to make sure we got your audio. Yeah, are we live on the Okay, let's do it. Spencer! Spence, screaming that thing. Make it loud. Don't do it. Don't move it when you sing. Oh, say can you see By the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled banner yet wave? And for the land of the free and the home of the Spence, Spence, it's the moment. You gotta say it. Gentlemen, start your engine! Alright, boys, let's do this. I hope you guys are ready for it. Boys, I hope I hope you guys are ready for some live action. Again, I have no idea what is about to happen. We could all crash in the first lap, but we've made it to this point. This is the Freedom 500. I hope we make it all 100 laps, but I hope you guys just enjoy the show. I love you all. Thank you so much for watching. Everyone around the world who's tuned in, hell yeah, brother. Let's let her rip. Dude, you killed, killed it, dude. Like, all right. Great. Yeah. I'm not nearly as good as some of my other stuff, but uh, dude, you killed it. Thank you. Thank you. How are you guys doing? I saw the push up challenge, dude. I was like, well, I'm going to say one.
work, play, or necessity. Having fuel is always a priority. It gives you freedom, security, and savings. With Titan tanks, your fuel distance is extended in many cases more than double with our extra-large capacity tanks. Titan has a tank for every truck, gas, or diesel. Their high-capacity design keeps you off the pump and on the road where you belong. Titan fuel tanks, made in the USA and backed by a lifetime warranty. For more information, visit TitanFuelTanks.com.
inspections. He's ready to go. Then, then we have Doug, number 31, and then bringing up the pack. I think we got J.H. Diesel in the back in number 33. All right, guys, we have the cars underway. We are starting to roll. Guys, thank you for hanging with us as we go live, and we are working through this. Much like Cletus said, we are winging it, Garza, aren't we? Oh, we're winging it, and, and we're doing it live. We're doing it live. Um, wow, so we have the first four. We're looking at the top of the field right there. Um, Cletus is in the top four. What a draw he had. That's pretty impressive. Emilio out front on the inside line. Then we have seven of Taylor Ray. Guys, you're looking at uh, the front of the pack right now. It looks remarkable. I don't, I don't know if you guys can see a shot of the field. Maybe we can pan out. But my goodness, this does look like a... Here's the finish line. All right. They're getting up to speed, folks. Ladies and gentlemen, if All right. you are sitting... Wow, look right. at that whip. We have a glowing whip with an American flag on it. And <laughs> guys, this is real. It is going down. You're looking at the very first... Freedom 500 as these racers are getting ready. We got number 33 of J.H. Diesel. J.H. in the back. Guys, they're getting up to speed. Let's see if this pack tightens up a little bit, guys. Oh, it will. looking for, we're going to get a flag drop here any second. We have the coming aerial in, footage forward. coming down. We have the aerial footage coming in. We still got the pace car out. Okay, the pace car just pulled into the middle of the field. We have one more lap, I think, coming before we get a flag drop, guys. We're going to see this field kind of separate here. Let's see them get tightened up, guys. Up. Holy up. cow. This is, guys, my, woo, my adrenaline is peaking. This is impressive. We got a pack. They're getting their tires warm. Have you guys ever seen 20, 19, 19, correction, we have 19 Crown Victorias on a racetrack. The Freedom 500 is going down here live at the Freedom Factory for the first inaugural race of the Freedom 500, guys. I hope you're on the edge of your seat because I can't even sit down. I'm on the toes. All right, all right, the Freedom 500 is way. And we have Cletus just slipped into third. Off a good start. Oh, coming down the other line. Cletus is We have to pick up a three wide. Three wide down the main straight. Cletus on the inside. And we got Taylor Ray coming up in second. And then we got Bad Chad. That shot is up there. Oh, oh my gosh. Man, Cletus there are all the inside line. We are full wide in the middle of the pack. <laughs> oh my goodness. Cars, if you see what's going on. I cannot believe it right now. Cletus is taking that inside line. He likes it. He's hugging well. Now remember, wow. Wow. you want to touch it on the last two. The last two are so Cletus. Wow. Look at that back tighten up. We got all the other side out. Oh, wow. Oh, they're contact on 
one, as we have uh, those two taking a look. Now we're going to see another one. So we've got Freddy White still in the lead. We need to drop that for you. Wow, what's that? on the rest of the guys, everybody. Um, we got J.H. Diesel. Uh-huh. So, um, let's take a look. Um, it's kind of surprising that Cletus... I know. You know. It does come down to the unit. These were... It was it a crapshoot. It was a crapshoot. We're still under caution. Um, it looks like we have... Wow. In the up front, we got Justin. <laughs> Jeez. So J in the number J. forty-six, Diesel, Justin Hildebrand with the first one to go into the grass. Now, do you think that was uh, planned? I mean, he knows how. No, it good wasn't this Justin that went into the grass. I believe oh. it was uh, Justin. Just J. H. Diesel did not go into the grass. Oh, I don't okay. see. Okay, okay, okay. Um, J. H. Diesel out there, but this pace car is definitely grouping the pack back together. So it's starting to look like a freaking race. Hell, yeah. Brother, now you think they're going guys, to guys? Uh, wow, it looks like Shreddy Life has been slid back to third of Blake Wilkie. Let me give you guys a little bit of a rundown. What we're looking right there is turn one. It appears as though we have Brent BFI Speed in first place. He's yep. not. Hold on, we got the official over here. Oh, the last. BFI Speed and number two. Number three, we have James. Number four, we have Taylor Ray. Number five, we have Cletus. Don't let the lap traffic fool you right now, boys. That's the rundown of one through five. Thank you, Savage, for giving us that rundown. So Savage is going to give us the update on this. Even though the field has been separated, we are not racers. We are winging it. Things are looking good, but uh, Savage has the up-to-date. Go ahead and give us a top 10 rundown, Savage. All right, number one, we got Shreddy Life. Number two, Brent from hey. PFI Speed. Number three, we got James. Number four, Taylor Ray. Number five, we've got Cletus. Number six, we got Jamie, PFI Speed. Number seven, we got Justin Keith from Stain Killer YouTube Productions. We got number eight, JH. Number nine, we got Doug. We got number 10, we got George. 
L.S. George from Faster Proms. Wow. Guys, it looks like we have Cooper sitting in 12th place at the moment. Let's get... James Tao is holding third position right now, and then Cooper back in number 12. Bringing up the back of the pack, we got Bad Chad followed by Emilio. I think Emilio is still a little fatigued from that wrestling match. He got worked, folks. I watched that live. It was a toss-up, but I tell you what, he claims he threw in the towel on Cletus, but I tell you, I don't know. Cletus might have had struggle him. Struggle was um, real. Victor bringing up third to last. Then we have just in front of Victor, Jeremy from Faster Proms. We got Boosted Boys in front of him, a couple side-by-side -side blogs sitting in 14th position and 13th position. We have Nick and Leo. Oh, Bad right. Chad, he's Uncle sitting Leo, in 19th. Garza, what do you think? Bad Chad, I thought he was your winner. He's I sitting mean, in last. I What's the deal? I didn't know how to read him. Uh, he was very quiet. Um, I'm still pulling for him. It's early in the race. Uh, it is very early in the race, gentlemen. So what do you guys think? Go. We're about guys, this is wild. I've never seen anything like this. 19 Crown Vicks banging hard. Door to door, Rubin is racing at the Freedom 500 in Bradenton, Florida, where I call home. Wow! Here's the pack is tightening Rubin up. Is scrubbing, they're coming we up. We'll show Blake Wilkie in front with Brent and James following up in third. Holy moly! We're glad we got these transponders, people, because these are really helping us make sure that we know who is winning and who is doing all right. So, if you look at our scoreboard, oh my gosh, look at that aerial Here we view. Go, coming out what of turn a four. shot. What a shot. Looks like we're about All right, to start there the race. We go. We're back underway it's at the green, baby. Look at that. We have people make it past on the inside. Okay, we got three wide in turn one. Oh, wow. Woo! Look at that. Pull it out. Scrubbing and rubbing. Number one. Wow. Oh, oh, a jump. Oh, there is heavy on the brakes. Cletus almost was rear-ending someone. All right, let's get a shot to the middle of the pack. There is a lot of action going on in the middle of the pack, folks. Action. There's a lot of passes Ooh, going coming on. coming in hot out of turn three. Wow. Woo, look at that. We're yeah, this race. Look at that view. We got an amazing shot here. Aerial footage of the Freedom 500. We're still, so hey, uh, uh, Savage, give us a top five breakdown. Let's make sure. Look at that, we got a little Robbins racing coming out of turn three, going in turn four. We got Ready a, Live holding Ready off. Ready Live holding them. Holding off Oh James. James is coming in hot. Shout out to James' uh, car with the push light. It looks we got beautiful. Justin Keith right behind him in the cold trickle car. Uh-oh, I think $40 worth of spray paint movie. right there, fellas. That's what that is. It's Come James, on. James just made a movie just past Ready Life. Boy, look at the gap that old Brent is putting on him right now. Oh my goodness, folks. This <laughs> oh, landing lead. We are looking at just some of the most raw live action that you've seen. We are ripping. We are on lap 14, still under green. I'm showing we got Brent from PFIC still leading. Uh, then we got Justin. Oh my goodness. James in third. Blake Wilkie in fourth place. Holy moly. Where's Cletus at? Cletus is sitting in number six. Number six. The pack is starting to separate. Oh, we got somebody up on the wall. Oh, 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 my, side. oh my goodness. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, my oh, my on the caution. Is coming in hot. Caution, 16 lap. We got a side-by-side -side blog. Who is that with the flag? He is up on the wall. He must have a blowout. Goodness yeah, gracious. Oh, my gosh. Look at that, number 21 of, let's take a look, I believe that is Leo. With side Leo, by side Uncle blog. Leo. Oh my gosh, thank goodness he runs that Look at this, basket. look at that contact right there, Adam LZ coming in hot with Cletus. Guys, we are under caution. These guys are hot to trot. Number 21 is stranded, staying in this car. Well, we we want to make sure that every help. single driver is safe. We have the pace car heading back out now. Look at slow down the pack. 
We're going to make sure that everybody is okay, guys. So wow. Brent is our leader with James coming in number two, Shreddy Life at number three. Then we got the old side-by-side -side vlog coming up from behind. Okay, at, guys, we have our safety up. personnel out there now inspecting the number 21. We're going to push him off the track. You know, guys, it could be something as simple as a flat tire, and that's why he maybe kept high on that wall there because he couldn't turn it down. Um, it's going to be interesting to see if he's going to be able to make it out there. You have a shot there, the Freedom 500 written across the hood. We have a red flag out now just to make sure that we can get everybody off safe. Um, every, all the racers are stopped. It looks like he has made it off the track. There's a potential we may see him out later, folks. Um, that, that could just be a flat tire. We don't know yet. But um, All right, we're back under yellow. The field's going to start moving here. Now, these races wow. are so competitive. Even with the yellow flag out there, it's still going. Wow, folks, this is something else. Lap 16 of the Freedom 500. Going. What well, we got a, a little bit show. of mind games going out there right now. Guys, under caution, I think now would be... And then Nitto tires, and then we have Motion Raceworks, it looks like. So thank you very much, everybody. All right, we have the pace car pulling off now. Here we go. We're still under caution. We're going to wait, and they make a whole other lap again. I don't know. The field should be tightening up a little bit. We now, Savage, what do you think these racers are thinking right now? I think they're ready to get after it. I, I wonder how many too. people have used their nitrous. I wonder that, too. Okay, I'm good, Alex. You go green whenever. Wow. This is remarkable. Look at this shot. We have some uh, great videography going on. We have a great team here that was put together pretty last second. Uh, as you can see, the track is great. We got the tire marks in the sod. We got a lot of work going on. Look at these cars. We're only down to 18 cars. I don't think we've seen. Um, I don't think we've seen Leo pop back out yet. We'll have to keep an eye out for him. Here we go. All right, out of we're going to come out. Okay. This field is tightening up. I think that's good. Look at this. Did you guys see him three wide? I saw that. Now, Spence. Yeah. Do you think Cletus is saving all of his nitrous? The end. You know, I'm not sure because when Blake he was Shreddy Life, in there. he got out front. It was uh, interesting to see Cletus back off a little bit. I think he's going for the conservation route. Cletus is keeping in mind what 100 laps feels like. It feels like we've been at this for an hour, but it's, we're only on the 15th lap. Yeah, so and this 3 8 mile oval is really putting these drivers to the test, folks. We got a lot of excitement coming. We're not even at a quarter of a way. Here we go! Oh, Green flag drop! Back again! Off of caution! Three wide! Three wide into Three turn one! Wide. Cletus on the low side of the car in the number 99. Keep your eye out for Cletus, swallowed shortly behind by Kyle with Boosted Boys in the 35. Look at that shot. Oh, here we oh, go. Oh, making a move! Oh, oh my four. goodness, I think we, we got James. Wait for the pit It looks like the number 77 of Brent. I'm telling you guys, Brent from PFIC, he is bangerang and he is up there in the front all night. He has not given up positions easily. Now and take a look at 31, Doug, with the uh, incognito mode. Yeah. Uh, had the lights off. Oh. Guys, we're having a little bit of difficulty right now with our transponding wire that's underneath the racetrack. As you guys know, this place has been in full refurbishment mode, so we are trying to do our best. Right now, we're just watching some good racing. Let's keep an eye on the camera. Look at James Steele getting Look loose going into shot. turn two. These cars Look are ripping. Look at Brent. Looks like he hit a little bit of nitrous there. Coming in hot on turn two. Oh! Whoa! Whoa! Loose. Here he goes. Now, I get a bad word. Turn four. Oh wow! We're I having... did hear it might be Mountain Dew. Are we having objects thrown? Oh my goodness! That that is some real racing right there. I'm telling you, uh, Brent from PFI Speed is really putting the show down. It's uh, I'm kind of impressed. Ooh, that guy is not let up. up now remember, to turn one. There he is. Brent is hot on the heels of the numbers. These two are these two are putting down some serious laps. Oh, we have another pulling off. Who just pulled off, guys? It, it appears that Jay Season has pulled off the track. Oh, man. 
Another one out. Difficulties. How many cars do we have left out there? The pack is definitely separated. We got a big group of guys right here. Oh man! Another car! Wow, look at the marks on number 46. Keep an eye out for Justin Keith. He has pulled. Yeah, keep that shot. Let's see. Let's keep an eye on number three. He's got a good lead. Um, I think that's James. Wow, that is James. He's, he's playing it safe. I mean, I think. Wow. I think he's uh, looking at this at a hundred left. And there we got. Coming in, we got a yellow, we got a caution. We got a caution. And that caution sponsored by Titan Fuel. Hell yeah, brother. Alright guys, we are under caution now. As you can see, the, the field is going to get grouped back together. Um, it looks like we got the number of 46. of the Freedom 500. Remember, let me just reiterate, guys. These are not race cars. These are auction purchased, retired, police interceptors, and they have over 100,000 miles on a majority of these. We didn't check brakes. We didn't check oil. We didn't check coolant systems. A lot of this went unchecked. What we did do was put nitrous on every single unit. Guys, this is remarkable. The only thing we checked wow. is that it was a Crown Victoria and it was good to go. Got the leader, James, representing. Yeah, guys. Hearts number number three. We got Brent, PFI Speed, coming in number two. Shreddy Live coming in behind. Hey. We got Emilio pulling up, but he is not in the top three. Guys, once again, I will say the uh, the leader the leaderboard system is is definitely in a position right now. We are working on getting it corrected, um, but it looks like the pace car has just. Oh, the pace car is getting the leader now, so it looks like that we're still under caution, folks. Gosh, Garza. Oh, man. Work, play, or necessity. Having fuel is always a priority. It gives you freedom, security, and savings. With Titan tanks, your fuel distance is extended in many cases more than double with our extra-large capacity tanks. Titan has a tank for every truck, gas, or diesel. Their high-capacity design keeps you off the pump and on the road where you belong. Titan Fuel Tanks, made in the USA and backed by a lifetime warranty. For more information, visit TitanFuelTanks.com. Well, we can. I got to stay talking about what's on camera. Perfect. All right, guys, we got the pace car still reset the pack, lap 22. Um, right now we have, it looks like James and Brent from PFI Speed followed closely behind the number nine of Emilio. Remember, Emilio did have the pole position. He did start out right there. Um, he did have that pole position, and he made sure that he's still staying in the front of the pack. Guys, this is one heck of a race. Uh, we got the pack grouping together. We've lost a couple cars. Who did we lose? We lost Leo, I think, from Side by Side Blog, and we did lose J.H. Diesel. But, wow, what a race. We are on lap 22 still. We are getting ready to go. You guys are seeing some live freaking action. This is the best by the seat of your pants race that you probably ever tuned in. Guys, stay safe during the quarantine. It's important. Make sure we follow the rules. This is a heck of an event. Here we go. Here we go, baby. There is no more live action than tonight, Thursday night. All right, guys, keep in mind, we did push this race up a day early, so things came together. We are here, and we are doing it. As my buddy Mickey Taylor always says, we're here, and we're doing it. And this is exactly what we're here to do. These guys are racers. They don't care what they get behind. They just want four wheels and a steering wheel and a harness. That's all they care about. And nitrous. 
And nitrous, yeah. That's Don't for forget darn about sure. that. <laughs> oh, man. This is some teeth shattering impact. Here we go. We're going to have to get Dr. Mitchell on the line to do some tooth replacements. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Shout out to All Dr. Right. Mitchell. We have the pace car did just pull off again. It looks like we're still under caution. The pack is pretty tight. We're not quite sure who's in first, and we're not quite sure who's in last. But James we. Is, James is still number one right now. Yeah, it looks like James. Life. This Brandon battle between James and Shreddy Life. Wow, Shreddy and Life. Brendel in the top five. five. Let's see if we can get Cletus. I want to keep my eye on Cletus McFarland in the number 99 Crown Victoria with the blue Freedom Factory logos on the side. He is literally in the middle of the pack at the moment. All go. right. I think things are going to get real interesting in the middle of the pack right now, especially with Cletus there. All right, guys, still under caution, just waiting for this thing to fire back up. Oh, look who just joined the race. Oh, 21 of, uh, I think it's the side-by-side -side blog, Leo. We got Leo He's back, back Uncle out. Leo. Do you remember? Uh, just behind the number 35 of Shreddy Life, we have the number 31 of Doug from Side by Side Blog represented. We got number 7 on the outside. That's going to be Taylor Ray. Just behind him, we have the number 11 of uh, Nick from the Side by Side Blog. Guys, this is intense. I hope you're there keeping track of who's who because there is a lot right going on. We have a green flag drop. It looks like Brent. Oh, oh a spin out. Number 5, right. Down in oh, the burnout. Pat, he is and he's back on the track. Oh. All right, Adam LZ oh, just picked back up. Oh, oh, can we get a shot back into the front of the pack? Oh, there we go. We got a call. Oh, a spin out. Oh, oh, look at that pit maneuver in the bottom of your screen, guys. What a move. That was a move pit on Nick from the side-by-side. -side. The side-by-side -side blogs are getting clobbered out here. Adam oh, LZ he's coming in hot oh, and mad. Oh, okay, we we're on yellow. We have a yellow out. We got a caution. We got a caution. We got a caution. It looks like they are still grabbing some, though. All right, here we go. Here we go. Wow. Boy, holy, Brent holy. is looking for the pass. Things are heating James. up. Guys, we just had two pit maneuvers and two police cr Crown Victorias retired Look interceptors. Justin this Keith is what is these machines the are built for. I think when the engineers got we together in Ford, with Ford back in the I 90s like when some of these things were created, they just wanted to build a tank of a unit. The ultimate car. The one that will never stop giving. And he's back on the track. They're getting bunched up right now. Not bad for Ford, but Chevy to the top. Can we get back into the front of the back? There we go. We got Justin Keith. These guys are not... Lap 22 of 100. 22. Still lap 22, guys. Woo! Wow, these guys are not playing. Uh, they're you not, know. They're not, they're Wow! Speed. It looks like we're four wide. All right, there. And he's back on the track. Oh, we have a spin. We have a spin. Oh! Oh, it looks like it's been recovered. Holy cow! All right. James taking the lead. Ten. I'm Here telling you, this man was born in the front seat of a Crown Victoria. He knows how to drive. Wow, showing us today. You guys can hear the tires. You can hear the screeches. Oh, they're screeching all right. Oh, my goodness. The front of the pack is These guys are right in the middle. He might have sort of a power uh, loss in that crown. He's not exactly the front, but he's doing his best, I can tell you that. 
Spence, I think he yeah. has a trick up his sleeve. So, I so? would watch him carefully. I mean, he's always either in the middle or up front. He's never falling behind too, about too far. Yeah, I think Cletus is pretty good at blocking the traffic behind him. We got some... Looks like, like Bad Chad. Is that Bad Chad? Again. Yep, Bad Nine. Chad. Thank you. Team JH Diesel. Out. Team JH Diesel, we got He's Bad Chad. pulled off. Now, guys, I don't know if our transponders are working. I think we have them up and running, but what I'm looking at here is we got Bad Chad and, well, last. <laughs> uh, bad Mark Chad is for sure in last. Oh, you know, sweet where is JH Diesel? Is he still out there? Yeah, let's find JH Diesel's in the number 33 car. I, I think he pulled off. I think my number one car off. is gone. Oh, goodness. You know, JH who? JH who? I have the t shirt. Huh. I don't see him out Marcus, there. Sorry, your dad's out of the race. All, All right. right, I'll see him later. All right, guys, under caution. Again, you heard. Uh, we, we are missing a couple a couple riders here. The Vargas brothers were unable to make it, but we want to give a big shout-out to them. We love those big guys. Big shout-out. Those are the rotary motor kings, if I remember correctly. Um, the Vargas brothers. And then, again, Matt from Demolition Ranch. Our thoughts and prayers go out to you, man. I got to meet Matt from Demolition They are exactly as genuine as you find them when they're uh, doing their channel. So it's really cool to see these guys. But, Matt, our thoughts and prayers go out to you. Back to racing, guys. We have a field that's starting to tighten up under caution again. You know, Spencer, know Spencer, game. you cannot forget about Uncle Ronnie Mack who oh couldn't my. make it. Goodness gracious, Ronnie How Mack. How could you forget Uncle Ronnie Mack? Uncle Ronnie Mack, man. A you know, foot. I think he might have backed out. Up. Do you think do you think Ronnie Mack might have got nervous because these are not two strokes? That's not really Ronnie Mack. Uh, I do not think he got nervous. He's I not think a scared he kind of guy, huh? And I think he would be in the top five for sure. Dude, it is a what does Ronnie Mack say? It's a CR two fifty. It's a fire breathing, burn spitting machine. Sometimes she just bucks you off. That's my best man, Ronnie Mack. We miss you, buddy. But we'll see you out at the. Jeez, Ready life still in three. Have you ever seen this much excitement out of a police car? I mean, goodness gracious. Brown Vicks. You got to love them. Look at them side by side. Just who back up. Lap 25. We're now under lap 26. So Vince, who do you think? Who do you think's going to win? I don't know, man. I'll be honest. During my interviews, James, I don't know. James has winning in his bones. Now, I, 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 James is looking good. Very impressive. Unbelievable. James. Now, Brent. I've seen him come Same to here. turn four and get pitched that Crown Vic sideways. Yeah, Brent is something, someone to watch, too. I think James and Brent are for sure going to be uh, two of the toughest guys here. You know, these guys are back up. Back That's up with the one. great car. Here we go. We got Brent, PFI Speed, coming in out of turn two with the lead. I think Brent's car is just really, really good. It might just be way drive. Oh, look at James coming in hot out of turn three. Got a battle going into turn four. BFI Speed still in the lead. And they pulled away going into turn one. James coming in hot though. Yeah. Bad Chad still in hot. it. Come on, Bad Chad, where are you at? Don't let me down.
James trying to make a move. Will James make it? He's coming in hot. These guys sure do make a 3-8 oval look busy. They are side by side, banging it out. This is some crazier stuff than I've seen on anything lately. And I know there's a lot of crazy documentaries out there on Netflix, if you know what I mean. There is some crazy Oh, we got a hubcap! We got a hubcap in the infield. Fun off. Wow. There we go. We still got the 77. Brent has taken Wow, that was a serious maneuver. James is not playing around, but you want to know what I see, though? Oh, Guess what? we got Cletus with a little, uh, oh. Yeah. Turn four. Ready, light. Got a San Diego. All right, I live down there in San Diego, and these guys don't They hang with you. They shred hard, and they're all about getting after it. If you guys have watched Blake's channel, he does not lift his right foot up. He is We are back under green. Uh, it looks like we still have James out front. I'm telling you, this guy's got a unit on his hands. The bush he might light have got... is in number one. Oh, my gosh. Brett is back in second. Wow. Brett is already back in second. Coming for revenge. He took the inside. Is he going to play nice? Wow. I don't we'll see. Brent. Brent is going for He's a... mad. Tires screeching. This is great. Guys, lap number 49. We're coming to the halfway point of the Freedom 500. Woo! Another move. Number 44. Is coming in hot. Like that from Booster Boys. Booster Boys. Commandingly, commandingly. Taking it. Shreddy life. I saw him go on the outside. Now he's trying the inside. Just on the pole right now. We got PFI speed number two. Pretty good gap in between them. Coming into turn three. James with commanding lead. Well, we've got a good battle with Justin Keith. And Cletus McFarlane coming.
Wow, we got some serious damage to the side of Justin Keith's car, the number 46. He has got a mirror hanging off. His number is strapped wide. Uh, it's just, uh, Cletus is right on him, hot to trot. Look at that. This is Cletus right here coming in, trying to get down on that inside line. I think he probably is going for a pit maneuver. I think Boy, Cletus are, is going to get him. They're running hard right now. Oh, they're running Justin hard. These engines the are circle, hot. 46. Oh, with the pit maneuver! Oh! Pit maneuver on Stain Killer and turn. Woo! Cletus got him. Cletus got him, folks. Said he was Woo! coming on him. Was coming on him. What That's a pit it. maneuver! We're still under green. <laughs> we are still under green. Oh, there's the caution. Caution. There's the caution. Out. So we got James with the pit maneuver. Yeah. Wow. Under caution. We still have James in first place. Wow, 77 playing a little dirty. Wow, this is a race, guys. I wish we had that on film because Cletus literally put Justin Keith right into the infield. Gorgeous pit maneuver. We it was a skill like I, we expect that from him. Cause here we go, making a little change here. We got James pulling back into the first place spot, followed by Brent from PFI Speed. Now we got James with the first pit maneuver, and then next is Cletus. Will we have Cooper with the third pit maneuver? Let's get our eyes on Cooper. Cooper, I believe, is in the number 24. Cooper's been a little quiet. 24. It looks like he's uh, either, I think he's in third to last place. Okay, all right, back to racing. You guys got a basket. Oh, my goodness gracious. Garza, get in here. Get in here, buddy. Sorry, brother. All right, Sorry, brother. keep your yeah. distance. Keep your distance. <laughs> no touching. All right. Yeah. Thank you, guys. You got Spicy Spence. We got Mr. Nick Towers. And we got Garza. Guys, this is insane. We're happy to have you. This is us in the NASA booth. We want to thank our sponsors, Titan Fuel Tanks. They make oversized fuel cells for all sorts of vehicles, race cars, just your daily drivers. They're the one, if you look, they got stickers on every single one of these cars. Titan Fuel Tanks, you really hooked it up. All Thank right, guys. Thanks. One stroke wow. to Canada. This is one remarkable. Tank. Lap 56. Who you got, Garza? Who Woo! do I got? James is, is uh, I, th I got James. Uh, James is killing it right now. He is killing it. Spencer, who are you going with? I'm who telling you, you, man. I've had over halfway. The wishbone feeling's been on James. Yeah, James is uh, I'm he, he's killing. Pulling for Brent it. right now, boys. Your boy Brent, Damn. huh? Who did you guys Davis have? Did them? you have Bad Chad for the win before Garza? Uh, I did not have Bad Chad for the win. I actually thought Bad Chad was going to be at the end, is what I was saying. The end. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh Chad. Boy, I love you to death, buddy, but we're going to have to see a little bit more racing out of you. And Emilio. <laughs> Emilio, come on, man. You started out in first. What the heck, bro? It's the wheels. Boosted, boys. It's all, all that gold boosted, weighing them down. Here we go. About to go. Here we go. We got Brent from PFI Speed trying to pass him on the high side. Coming and he is! Feet. He is! Going into turn three. Oh, oh! Brent with the move! We got Brent in the first place right now. We Can he hold it? Number two. Shreddy Life coming in high on turn one. There's Cletus McFarland. The good shot in with the your slow bumper showing it off to the number 46. Guys, if that, you guys he remember before, Cletus Pitt maneuvered the number 46 of Justin Keith, and Justin Keith is right behind Cletus right now. I oh. think we could see something. Oh, oh, oh and he got Pitt maneuvered oh, again! Oh, and, oh. and it! Justin Keith got Pitt maneuvered again. Two in a row! I'm not happy about that. Look at that. Look at the car number nine into the wall out of turn two. And a caution. Oh. Sponsored by Nitto. Wow, under caution, guys. I Oh, we got Cletus McFarland with his spotlight on. That is this impressive. This guy's been playing and dirty. He's trying to blind him, I'm telling you. Is that allowed? We need to check the rule book. All right. Wow, number 46 to Justin Keith. Yeah, I mean, he's not really being very hard on the defense. He keeps... Uh, 
He's been spun out now a couple times in the last 10 laps, guys. We're at lap number 60 of the Freedom 500. We are more than halfway down. Cletus has turned on his spotlight. He is clearly trying to distract the drivers ahead of him. I don't know what his tactic is, but Cletus has worked his way up. It looks like into the fifth position. Brent is still holding... Are holding the front of the pack. On like, oh wait, James, no, James, where's James, James go? Went out. James went out. Went oh my James gosh! James just went to the pits. We got Taylor Ray sitting number two. All right, guys, I'm going to give you the rundown of what we're looking at. The number 77 is Brent from PFI Speed. Just behind him, we have the number 31 of Doug from Side by Side Blog. I think the number seven is sitting in the second position, and that's going to be Taylor Ray. And behind the 31, we got Cletus McFarlane in the 99, worked his way up. Cletus is coming and, back. Uh, he's I'm gotten telling out you. of the middle of the pack. He's gotten to the front now. We got Emilio back in it. Don't know what that was about. And these guys are getting bunched up again. Still under caution, resetting the pack. Oh, wow. These guys should be in the groove of things now. That's an interesting. It. Live action. Bog deep, let her eat. I think Cletus is in a position right now to really make uh, a good move. Cletus has been holding off on the throttle. I know that for a fact. Batman can race harder than he is, and I think he's going for, he's conserving a lot of his car till the end of the race. Dude, a I'm lot of people you. are dropping out, getting spun out, getting lapped. Now, Spence, I'm telling you, you got to watch Cletus. I think he's saving his nitrous for the end. I know. You mentioned that about 20 laps ago. I think you're absolutely correct. And he's sit sitting in a good spot right now. We are three wide under caution at the Freedom Factory. It, this 3 eighths mile is getting it handed to a... Whoa. Oh, Cletus, oh, Cletus just pit maneuver. Under caution, Cletus McFarland playing dirty. He just spun out the number nine of Emilio. See you later. Guys, this is a rivalry that will not end. Emilio's the one that got tapped out in a wrestling match up in Colorado on the Cletus McFarland YouTube channel. And it's just crazy. Cletus just spun him out. What a dirty move. I literally saw Cletus's lips say, see you later, nerd. <laughs> Shout out the window. See you later, nerd. See you later, nerd. Uh-oh. Emilio's pulling up to him. There's some drama going on out here, folks. The word on the street is Emilio's supposed to be last? Okay. Okay. So Emilio is actually supposed to be last. Reason why he got spun oh, wow. out. Get to the back, That's nerd. That's hurt. I'm telling you, it's those That's gold, it's those gold you know, wheels guys, and tires. They're weighing them down. All right, the pace car has removed itself from the track. We got another lap under caution. Guys, wow, we have lost James. James looks like he is in the back of the pack now. I think he left the... left. PFI speed followed by Taylor Ray. Then we have the 31 of Doug from Side by Side Blog. Is that JH back in it? In the 33 at at the end? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. J.H. who? J.H. who is back in the I'm race. I'm not sure who that is. You said J.H. who? J.H. who. All right. Apparently, a gentleman by the name of J.H. who has his car back on the field. Man. Now, is that a brand new car? All right, guys. We are about to see them drop the green, I believe, off of this caution. Keep your eyes okay. on uh, J.K. There's Diesel. The green. The green. Now, here we go, boys! Oh, my goodness. Woo! Cletus is spinning. We just went to try to spin out the side-by-side -side blog. Cletus is not playing fair. Here he comes! Here he comes! Brent with PFI speed. Still holding that lead. Cletus passing off. Oh, speed. no! Somebody Hard. brushed up on the wall. We are another caution. Spark Spark flying! The Whoa! Another one! From under caution, James. a couple spin outs. We got three Just cars got in the infield right now. James Tao has been spun out. Those flames did. Uh oh. He's coming out of the car. Uh oh. We got somebody coming out of the car. 
Carr must be dead, or, or, or we James. want to make sure he's safe. James is out. Okay. We got a. Looks like we got a red flag now. We do not want drivers out of the cars on the racetrack. So it looks like our safety personnel are tending to him. Oh, James! Tempers flaring. Pretty bummed out. He was. It, this is racing, guys. These guys are very competitive. We want to make let everybody know that these guys are are. They are not out here to provide lame content. I think what you just saw is emotions running hot. James has been leading the pack a majority of the race. And I think what we just saw there is the dissatisfaction that Crown Vic has supplied him. James, we wish you well, buddy. We're excited to see you back here next year. But um, good luck, and we're glad you got out of that vehicle safe. I think James There's should get another car, car and come back. That Dale Earnhardt, Bush Light, Crown Victoria with that cr Man. James is doing fine there. We just got word that he is doing fine. I think he need to get another car and come back, just like James. Here he comes! Here he comes! Brent with PFI speed. Still holding that lead. Cleet is passing off. Oh no! Somebody brushed up on the wall. We are. Wow. That was a freedom replay. Did you guys see that hit? I think Brent, was that the number 11? That was a hit up on the wall of turn four. Man, what a race car driver this is going on. Let's look at our lineup. We have Shreddy Life on the top. Hey. That's going to be Blake Wilkie. And then we have Cletus McFarland in the middle. It looks like he's worked his way to the front of the pack. On the inside line, we got Taylor Ray, and it looks like we're going to a shot now of Brent from PFI. The number three of James Tao is out of commission, and it looks like Brent from PFI Speed is both out. Guys, this is incredible because these two guys led the race for dozens of laps. These guys absolutely were putting it all out there. I think we had some of our best drivers I think uh, in those two cars, um, it looks like Brent is coming back. Oh, I think we got a flat tire on our hand. He's going Brent slow from PFI sure. Speed. Yeah, I think he, uh, I think he guarded right on that one. Now, Smith, keep an eye on JH. He's back. He <laughs> hasn't. He no. Listen, he's back and he's coming for revenge. I think he's going to cause some mayhem. I think he knows that he's out. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. J.H. who? Exactly. <laughs> well. Work, play, or necessity. Having fuel is always a priority. It gives you freedom, security, and savings. With Titan tanks, your fuel distance is extended in many cases more than double with our extra-large capacity tanks. Titan has a tank for every truck, gas, or diesel. Their high-capacity design keeps you off the pump and on the road where you belong. Titan fuel tanks. Made in the USA and backed by a lifetime warranty. For more information, visit TitanFuelTanks.com. All right, guys, we're still under red. 64th lap of the Freedom 500. All the cars are stopped. We're waiting to make sure all the safety personnel can get the uh, out of commission vehicles off the track. Shout out to Alex Bowman. That's Garrett's boy. Shout out to Alex Bowman. That's Garrett's boy. Blake Wilkie with Shreddy Life up on the top of the track, and hey. then the number seven of Taylor Ray. This is getting exciting. Garza, I think you were right before when you said Cletus is saving it for later in the oh, race. Oh, dude, he's always got a little trick under his sleeve, I'm telling you. 
Uh, we'll see if he can survive. These, Look I mean, at these this cars shot. have been running hard. Wow. This is a beautiful shot. Look at this aerial view of all the cars. Folks, it does not get better than this. That is a lineup. Man, Garza, this is insane. Nick Savage, tell me what your thoughts are on what we've been looking at here for the last 10 laps or so. We've seen a lot of action this late in the race. There's been some good racing out here. There's been some tricks up some sleeves. I still feel like there's a lot of racing left. Look at him panning all the way back. Justin Keith sitting almost in last place. We'll see. JH who? JH who? I think he's going to cause some mayhem. Um, if you put a gun to my head right now, I'm saying Cletus is taking the win. What about you, Spence? Uh, yeah, you know, I with James being out, I hadn't really quite planned for this. Um, <laughs> I don't think this was planned, brother. <laughs> These cars right. are coming. We're rolling. Looks like we're back under a yellow. We're off the red. Um, we looks like we're still got James' car out on this. It looks like James' car has gotten started back up. It's moving. I think he's back in his unit. I saw James re-enter the field. I wasn't quite sure why, but it looks like we got his car back up and running again, and he's re-entering the race. We got. This is getting good. Cleves McFarland in first place with the number seven of Taylor Rigg, followed by number 31, Doug from Side by Side Blog. Blake Wilkie sitting in, I believe, third position hey. on the top of the track there. 21, Side by Side of Block. We got number four of Bad Chad. Uh, looks like 44 looks like just went to the pits. That would be Kyle from Booster Boys. Oh, 44. Okay. 44 just went to the pits. Here we go, here we go. The drivers were just told, who wants to win this thing? Let's fire them up even more, baby. All right, guys, this is Spicy Spence coming to you live from the announcement box here on lap 65. I want to see some more racing. You guys are doing great. Keep it up, folks. Let's see it. Yee oh man spicy spence just gave the drivers a message and what'd you tell them oh them oh or what the 30 wow look at that from somebody Doug. tried to make a pass on the inside 31 side by side blog not being able to make it cletus mcfarland back down to second place with the number seven of taylor ray taking the lead cletus mcfarland holding that high line and then coming in low now we've seen cletus make a pit maneuver earlier on in this race I would not put it past him to pull that to get into the first position again. Not at all. He knows how to race. And the first three are starting to separate themselves a little bit. The 31 of Doug in third place, Cletus McFarland in second, and Taylor Ray in first. Let's see. Adam LZ with number four. Whoa, we got contact right there. Coming into turn one. These okay, cars we got a little bit of a battle hard. for second place. Uh, Gletus is being closely followed by Doug. Oh, Doug went for a pit maneuver right there, and he missed it. We got um, 30 man, I Blake on. Wilkie oh, out of the race, just went in the pits. Blake Wilkie oh, just went goodness. in the pits. Oh, Gletus is getting. Gletus just got put sideways. Oh, he saved my it. He saved Doug it. Doug is going for blood. He is. He's oh, not okay, playing Gletus around. Is coming in. Wow. That battle for second is heating up. Taylor Ray. Oh, we got a spin out back in turn four. The number 88 of George from Faster Proms just spun out. We Come have on, George. We're back underway, and that's going to tighten up that front three. Garza, did you take a look and saw how Taylor Ray... But now they're back together, so we'll see if he can hold it the whole race. Guys, we are on lap 69 of 100. I'm trying to see how many cars we have left in the field. It looks like 11 just pulled off, and that would be Nick from Side by Side Blog. 
Got the caution back Guys, out. we have 15 Crown Vicks left on this Freedom Factory 3 8 mile oval. It looks like the 44 just pulled back. So we do have, um, who was that, Garza? Who's the number 44? Is that uh, Kyle? Kyle? It's Kyle from Busta Boys. Got it. He's made it back out to the field. That lap 69 was sponsored by Ronnie Mack. Hey, shout out to Ronnie Mack. <laughs> <laughs> Good call. That's Ronnie Mack's number. It, if it ain't going, it's blowing. Woo! All right. You can say that again if you want. Man. Woo! Cletus McFarland's the new leader of the race. Don't say Garza didn't tell you so. <laughs> you, yeah, you did We're say that. Chatting. We got 30. Oh, bad chat. <laughs> you know, it's kind of funny. I, I heard that they said that I bad chat was going to win, but I no. was actually saying he was going to be at the end. Wow. So here we are still under caution. Cletus McFarland has met made his way up to the first race. Did you guys see that video where somebody asked him if he had the audacity to win his own race? And he said, hell yeah, brother. I He's going that. as fast as he can. Now, Spence, we need Just to remember. Just turn left. Spence, yeah. we need to remember Taylor Ray in the 07 took a really big lead. So can he do that again? Yeah, Taylor Ray just keeps pulling when uh, this flag drops. So Cletus needs to make a pass very quick on that flag drop. And that, and then um, if he can get in front of Taylor and then pull some defense, that would really, really, really light this, uh, light this race up. It's just remarkable. We have slap 71 under caution happening here. Uh, still coming to you live from the announcement booth here. We got my man, main man Garza with his bald eagle hat. <laughs> I'm out here representing the Tiger King because that's the hottest stuff right now on Netflix. You got to watch if you ain't. You ain't too bad this is a season because this would be an amazing show to watch. Free my dog night, Joe Exotic. Episode after episode. We should do this every week. What do you think? Who's that leaving? Who's that leaving? Oh, I think we just had side-by-side -side blog. Doug had to just pull off the track. He must be having some some uh, vehicle issues. Leading the laps. What do you think, Nick? I think old Cleeter's trying to get the win here. We got someone coming back on the track. Who's that? 35. Is that Blake Wilkie? That's, that's Blake Wilkie line. coming, coming back. back. Hey, Five I knew my dog down. wasn't going to end it. Next time by, we're going green, baby. We're going green. Uh-oh, here we go. Still under caution. Lap 73. Just Blake, done. Blake Wilkie. Pace car has left. I'm telling you, when this green light drops, I think we're going to see some contact, boys. Oh, there's going to be These some rubbing. That's for sure. Know. This race is coming to its conclusion. J2, where's he at? Looks like he's sitting in number five spot there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> A green flag drop here. Let's see what happens. Here we go, boys. Here we go. Green flag. Woo! Oh, neck and neck. Cletus on the outside. And it's going down. Is it enough? Is it enough to pass him? I don't, doesn't look like it is. We got Taylor Ray holding that position still. And we're down to oh, 16 cars. Into lead. He's keeping that high line. I wonder if he can carry some momentum through that turn. Guys, we have James Tal in third place. It looks like he got his car back up and running. Keep your eye on James in the number three because that car is quick. Is it the car or James? James is coming okay. back with some fire. All oh, right. he's coming in hot. James coming, coming in, in hot. Coming in hot. Might be getting in the inside. See this. Oh, Please James and Cletus. Second spot. He is not giving it up. James is five. Wow. Down. So I hear we got only nine drivers racing for the win right now. Nine drivers. What a battle up there in the front. James and Cletus, who are going buddies, at it. It looks like they're avoiding contact just out of pure respect for each other. Remember, they are on a team. These guys work together. And now, James did get the pass on Cletus. Well, Spence Cletus is just not. Yeah. Oh, James just hit the wall. 
Now, Spence, are we going to see a little shake and bake action from James and Cletus just to get the win? I don't know. I think if we could see some slingshot engaged would be ideal. Cletus just got that position right back from Cletus. I think we will see that. Cletus got that pulled into second. Five of Adam LZ. He wasn't doing too hot early on, but it looks like he's pulling just in on the on the back of James. You gotta watch. James is Adam. putting on some. Uh, it looks like James is. Oh, oh Adam! Oh, James, oh, James, oh, James, James saves it. it. She James saves it. Saves it. The number five of it, Adam LZ was trying to put a move on James. He still is. He's in the inside. James is still two laps behind. All right. So James. Oh, oh they're rubbing. Contact. In, turn one. in turn one, we got Cletus has separated himself. And let's see if he can catch Taylor Ray there. That's our gap right there for the first and second place that you're looking at. Oh! Oh, we have contact. We have contact. The number 31 of Doug from Side by Side Blog. He has hit the front of the wall hard. That car is done. It is a smash front end. We do have a red flag out. We are pulling all the racers to stop. Let's make sure he's okay, guys. Everything should be good. These crown the cars are moving. equipped with with uh, full roll cages, four point harnesses. These guys have neck braces, Hans devices, and uh, Race Quip has made sure these guys have the safest equipment uh, from head to toe. Race Quip has really decked these guys out. They've really made sure that these guys are staying safe. We've seen a lot of rough racing, but I have heard no injuries. Every single car that's pulled off, we've gotten the report that these guys are safe. So we want to say a big shout out to Race Quip for making sure that all of our beloved YouTubers are still going to be able to go back to doing their YouTube work in a matter of a a couple of days. So this is uh this is insane, guys. We are we are down to the last twenty laps. And Doug just gave a thumbs up of the very first Freedom Five Hundred. Oh no, is he? He's got his uh, flashers on, so uh, we'll see what. Uh, oh, that could just be impact related. I think he's coming back. Oh, looks like he's staying on. He's coming back. He's what coming a back, warrior. baby! Guys, I see the number four of Bad Chad Miller made it back <laughs> out. That's Bad Chad is back out. All right, guys, we're gonna see this red transition now into a yellow. Oh, we got a couple cars coming in. And who's joining the race? We have the number, a uh, number eleven. Work, play, or necessity. Having fuel is always a priority. It gives you freedom, security, and savings. With Titan tanks, your fuel distance is extended in many cases more than double with our extra large capacity tanks. Titan has a tank for every truck, gas, or diesel. Their high capacity design keeps you off the pump and on the road where you belong. Titan fuel tanks, made in the USA and backed by a lifetime warranty. For more information, visit TitanFuelTanks.com. It appears as though our leader is Cletus McFarlane, and just behind him is uh, Taylor Ray. Now, Taylor and Ray we have the number five of Adam LZ. The front of this pack is definitely laden with decades of racing and ride driving experience. These guys are some of the some of the top performers in their game. Whether they're a drifter, a drag racer, all of these guys have been planning, preparing, dieting, working out for this moment. They are ready. I'm not quite sure what their regimes are to get ready for this, but these top three drivers are going to really battle it out for this last quarter of the race. The 82nd lap and the pace car is Four of Cooper sitting right there in fourth place. You got number eight, Victor Alvarez sitting in fifth. Victor's still in it. What a survivor. I'm telling you, Victor is a racer, the owner of Bradenton Motorsports Park. I think he has probably seen some races in his day and he knows what he's doing. Oh, you gotta love it. That's for sure. Now going back to that uh regime that you're talking i talked to jh diesel he said he's been only eating meat for this race to prepare really for the carnivorous diet i believe is it's called so he claims 
Uh, I'm not sure that's working out too much for him. All right. We're dropping the green flag again. Here we go. Lap 84 of the Freedom 500. We're coming three wide into turn one. We got Adam out. Oh, we got click. goodness we have we had a wreck oh my gosh what car is that the red flag that's is out victor that's Alvarez. victor is that victor is that the eight and he drives off by himself oh, that was an impact guys that was a heavy hit <laughs> i saw some damage Ooh. on that one savage what do you think about that one well, good news is he did drive off the track yes he um, did he did we got so we, we just want to keep in mind Race Quip also has done the harnesses. So these guys have really made sure these guys have stayed whole. As you know, a Crown Vic can pretty much take a slap, a beating, and get and spit on. If you guys remember the Cletus McFarlane at the Houston Cletus and Cars, we saw a Crown Vic decked out in a full Mountain Dew take a beating up against these cement barriers. To turn one! We got Adam out. Oh, we got Cletus. Oh! oh my goodness, we have we had a wreck. Oh my gosh, what car is that? The red flag That's is out. Victor That's Victor. Is that Victor? Is that the eight? And he drives off by himself. Oh, that was an impact, guys. That was a heavy hit. And boy, has it been exciting. This is a race. Big shout out to my team back home in Arizona. We got Matt Saber, Parker Mitchell, and Sean Steimer. These are my homies, and they are tuning in right now. They are telling me they are on the edge of their seats. They are putting their money on Cletus McFarland, all three of them. I think that's probably right, but this is going to be one heck of a photo finish coming in here. Um, oh, you betcha. Gosh. And why wouldn't you put your money on Cletus? He is killing it. Jeez, I don't, I mean, it's just crazy. I think he really did a good job with conserving his car. He's a good racer. We can all say that. For sure, I, faster. Yeah, uh, I think Taylor Ray's car. And I think, I think yeah. if Cletus is going to pull this one off, he's going to have to, uh, maybe get a little more contact with, uh, Taylor Ray, because. You know, I think. The and only I way I think Cletus can really get the pass on Taylor, Taylor's car's definitely got some quicker quicker pace behind it, but if Cletus can get on the inside and then pick up a pick maneuver on him, I think Cletus might have a shot. But Well, don't forget you got Adam LZ in third, so if these yeah. two start rubbing, I think he's going to make that move real quick and, and hop into first if that happens. So, we'll see. Guys, once again, my name is Spicy Spence. I have been your commentator for a majority. We have Garza here and Nick Savage joining me. Guys, this has been one hell of a time. If, you have, if you've been having a good time, you got to shout at that TV right now. We're still under yellow. We're going to see the pace car come off here in a minute. And we're going to get back underway. This 3 8 mile oval is doing work on the field. We have a limited number of cars left. We definitely do not have the starting 19. But we do that coming in there. These guys are very We are down to 15 Crown Vicks at the moment that are still up and running. Oh, wow. Spence, take Five a look at this track. It's just <laughs> beautiful how it turned out. Yes, this has turned into something else. The pace car has pulled off now, and we're going to... We got the 24 oh, of, uh, we got the 24 of Cooper. Cooper, Cooper Spaghetti is Eddie. up in front now, really representing the Cletus McFarland race team. Um, we got Blake Wilkie is still in the top six, it appears, with the number four of, or is that the number four of Bad Chat? It looks like it's made its way back out. Guys, oh no, it's the 84 of Jeremy from Faster Proms. 84. 
guys, we got some serious racers up there in the front. And here we go. It's anybody's guess at this point. But here we go. The flag is dropping, and we have the last 13 laps of the Freedom 500. Here we go. Oh, these boys are not playing around now. They can feel the end. Oh, man. I think Cletus has some good exit speed out of the turns. Cletus is going wild. I think but I Adam think LD is coming in. Taylor Ray's car is holding that inside line really oh, well. Oh, Cletus! It could be a down to the tires. Now this we, is a race. Look at that passing speed on the outside. Cletus is... Oh! On turn oh! Two. Everyone. Oh, oh it... I don't think this will be a long caution. These guys are both okay. There was no impacts. Just a couple was of that outs, a bad tag? And they're back at it. So we're going to let the, the field regroup really quick. And then we are down to the final 10 laps of the Freedom 500. Bad Chad is out into the pits. Bad Chad. That was a bad, bad Chad, Chad is out. J.H. spin out right there. Is that a team on team crime? We got 11 laps to go right here, folks. Here we go. Here we go. Caution. J.H. still out there. Are we going to see a little Who do you think is going to win, Cletus or Taylor Ray? We've got Adam LZ in third. We've got Cooper Spaghetti in number Spaghetti four. Yeti. Now, Nick, what do you think about Adam LZ? You think he's going to come in and make this? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Coming into turn one. we got Taylor Ray still leading. Coming into turn two, we got Cletus coming up high. What do you think? Cletus coming is coming in hot. Way. I think Adam's about to come inside. Adam LZ taking the lower bank. Lap number 90. Ten laps left. Taylor Ray hanging on to that first spot, putting up a fight. Cletus is Cletus. staying on the outside. He's not giving that outside up. I, you know, I think that that might be a little bit of a NASCAR line because he's holding some good speed into the straightaways. He uh -oh. is. The number five coming in on the inside. That's Adam LZ. you got to keep an eye on him. Still not able to squeak that second place out from Cletus. This battle for first and second is impressive. Cletus came back in inside just, just for a second. Went in there to try to go for a little pit maneuver. Now, Cletus isn't afraid to rub. Eight laps to go. Cletus is really racing now. Cletus is going for his we bumper. Cletus is pushing the bumper. Going coming to the, outside. On the outside. That's a little slingshot. Going oh, on the outside. Cletus coming on the inside. Oh, hard on the race. Break. All that coming. He passes him on the inside. They're fighting, oh, boys. Oh, my goodness. Cletus takes first place. Neck to neck. Going neck to and turn neck. One. Oh, my goodness. Cletus squeezes out that pass on Taylor Ray. This is remarkable. We are down to the final six laps of the Freedom 500. Cletus may win. Oh, Adam, oh, oh my goodness. That's Taylor Ray. Number seven and Taylor Ray almost made the move. This battle for first. Guys, we couldn't have two better racers battling it out right now. Five laps. Cletus McFarland holding first place. Five laps to go. He's starting to get his lap. He's starting to get, oh my goodness. Taylor Ray hard on the brakes. I think Cletus is, four. I think Cletus is using that nitrous. I think he's still got a Oh my lap. goodness. Four laps to go. Cletus holding first place. Oh! oh big red impact into the wall. Gosh, that looked like Leo side -by -side from Side by Side Block. Have a red flag. That was an impact. He got pushed up there. Leo's still moving. He looks like he's good. Leo's still moving. Looks like Leo's got a right rear flat tire. That was an impact, guys. Did we have a car oh, smoking. We
work, play, or necessity. Having fuel is always a priority. It gives you freedom, security, and savings. With Titan tanks, your fuel distance is extended in many cases more than double with our extra-large capacity tanks. Titan has a tank for every truck, gas, or diesel. Their high-capacity design keeps you off the pump and on the road where you belong. Titan fuel tanks, made in the USA and backed by a life Time warranty. For more information, visit TitanFuelTanks.com. Let's see this race through and see the first Freedom 500 come to its glory end. What do you think, Garza? I think uh, this is the most line. I think this is the most live action that any pay per view has ever seen. We've got Spicy Spence looking like Phil Mickelson right now. Oh. Oh, the mics aren't working? What happened? The mics aren't working? Damn. For real.
we get the live shot here? Count me in. All right, guys, so as you see, we're down to the last lap. It's under caution at the moment. We're coming down to the very final la uh, lap of the Freedom 500. It looks like we have Cletus out in front, still holding the first position. We're gonna get up here on the fence, guys. They're under green, the last lap of the Freedom 500. Oh my goodness. Cletus is holding on to that first place. Caution. We are under caution, guys. Not quite the race finish yet. We want this thing to finish good. This is gonna go crazy, but we still have another caution. It looks like on the board we may have one or two laps left. This has been a heck of a race. Let's go ahead and come on down here, Chris. Let's go check a look. All right, so we're gonna see a green flag. And then next, we're going to see a white flag signaling the last lap of the race. And then we're going to hopefully see the checkered if there are no cautions. Let's go ahead and get this. Go ahead and film this. This is crazy. Still under caution. Cletus is in first place. I believe Taylor Ray is holding second. This has been a battle, much like the one we saw earlier in the race from Brent with PFI and James Tao. We're wrapping it up here. We're still under caution. It looks like the pace car has pulled off the racetrack. Guys, we could see a potentially epic burnout if this finishes the way we're thinking. Cletus McFarland up front. Right now, so. We're so about to see the flag that? drop, I believe. Uh, you're back wide. All right, the green okay. flag. We have two more laps. That's the green of 500. Here we go, two laps left. We got Cletus McFarland leading, Cletus going into turn two. Cletus still, still leading, going into turn three. We got Adam LZ. We got contact going into turn four. Adam LZ and Cletus McFarland battling it out, going down the stretch, going into turn one. And here we go. Trying to pass Cletus McFarland with the lead right now, going into turn two. Cletus won't let him. Now this is for the win. Will Adam do a pit maneuver? into turn three. Adam LZ chasing him right now. Here he goes with the pit maneuver. Oh, here we go. And Cletus with the win. The Freedom 500. What do you think, Garza? That could not have gone better. That is what I'm talking about right there, ladies and gentlemen. What a show at the end. We got Cletus McFarland with the win. The first ever Freedom 500 winner, Cletus McFarland. Oh, my gosh. Here's the burnout. And it's burnout time. Oh, Cletus is ready. Hey. Shreddy and Cletus. Look at the burnout. Come on, folks. Look at the show. Get off your seats. Let's go. Blow those motors, boys. Let's Woo! go. Look at Justin Keith with the rolling burner, brother. Keep Keith. it going. Keep it going. Don't stop. Justin Tell Keith, your mama it on stop. home. KC boy to the top. Woo! Look at that cloud of freedom right there, ladies and gentlemen. If those aren't bald eagles, I don't know what is. <laughs> I can't see any. Yeah, I Look love it. Shreddy Live coming up to Shreddy. the top. Hey! Going with another one. Man, what chaos. Look at this right here. Guards are there oh. another left and right. They're doing a trio. <laughs> These boys are not stopping until their car drops. Look, here we go. We got the winner. Cletus McFarland pulling up. Yee! There he is, the man himself. Cletus said he was coming home with the victory. Woo! Throw that man a Mountain Dew. Do I feel bad about it? Do you feel bad about it? Don't feel bad about it. Oh my goodness, guys, we could not have seen this coming. Cletus McFarland, the winner of his own race. There. I don't know what to say. They stole my whole burnout show. It's been the most incredible day of my whole life. I, I don't even know what's happening. I want to check the standings. 
we got to verify the standings until the standings are 100% verified. I have one yet. I can't believe it, though. Dude, I blew a tire on the last freaking lap. Just get the chaos. Get the chaos. Hey, they ain't gonna see shit. Yeah, give me that. Get in there, bro. Now they're just blowing up the cars. They're just blowing up the cars. Listen. Listen. Oh my gosh. I am not a single hair man. I just won my own race. I said on video. I will not feel bad if it win my own race, but I want to verify the stats. We got to make sure. Are we 100%, Garrett? Was I not a lap down? It's 100%, bro. Who got second? I was just, uh, oh, Taylor Ray. Taylor Ray, Ray second place. Who got number third? Adam LZ. Oh. Uh, five. Number five. Adam LZ five. got Adam third? LZ got third place. No way. I thought Wilkie was in third. Wilkie was in fourth at the finish, but we'll have no. to check. Dude, we got it. We got 100% verify the standings, just like any international, extreme international, nationwide, worldwide race. We got to check the standings, verify. We have true winners here, but uh, listen, guys, I saved the nitrous for the end. It was a huge advantage over Taylor. I could tell he had nothing left. Every time he got to a straight, I smashed the nitrous. I'd go blowing by him, but... Uh, is that it? That is it. But Cletus, I would love to see a victory lap from you. Let's go ahead and see this checkered flag. The very first race at the Freedom 500, guys. We're going to see the victory lap from Cletus McFarlane, the winner of the first Freedom 500. Let's see it, buddy. Let's see this victory lap. Here we go. Let's see it. Let's see a burnout. Let's see the victory lap. Everybody, put your hands together for the winner of the Freedom 500. Cletus. McFarland. That's beautiful. What a shot on a flat tire at his own racetrack. Guys, this has been something I don't think the internet has ever seen before. The very first race with auction purchased Crown Victorias, retired police interceptors, and 19 of the best and most popular YouTube personalities from across this country. All corners were brought together. We have Cletus McFarlane coming in, victory lane. Victory Lane is accompanied by Cletus McFarlane winning his own race. This is a remarkable adventure. Got on YouTube and won his own race like a jerk. What a punk. <laughs> All right, listen, boys on the broadcast, get ready to close it out. I'm going to close it out right here. I want to give a huge thank you to Titan Fuel Tanks for sponsoring today's show. I want to give a thank you to the sponsors of the track, Motion Raceworks, Texas Speed, Holly Performance, Nitto Tire. And uh, I want to give a big thank you to the drivers, Spence, our announcers, uh, Alan, dude, everybody's made this week happen. I uh, hope you guys had fun staying at home. I know the, the world's in a crisis right now. I hope we could have brought you some bright times. All I got to say is I was born in a Crown Vic. I had a major advantage over these boys today. I am uh, I'm not surprised, you know. <laughs> I wake up every morning. I piss excellence. Oh. It's just how it is, brother. So, listen, we're closing it off there, boys. That's the first annual Freedom 500. Had to fight for it on the, the 20... 9,000th caution and then what was the cautions before the end dude I was I was losing my mind at those cautions I think we did three restarts on the, the last did. lap with a, a white flag checker flag that's it boys me and old Pearl here fought for it uh, just so pumped thank you guys so freaking much I love you guys that's it for the Freedom 500 broadcast do it for Dale we will freaking see you later